Hello, everyone. Looks like we are finally live. Hey, Gabby. Welcome in, welcome in. We'll be getting things started very shortly. I've been quite busy since we last hung out in Discord. And I do a little show off first before we kick this stream. How's the music? Is it too loud? Music's loud? Ah, oh, okay. Alright, I think we are ready to kick this thing. Make sure I got this right uh, screen capture on. I think it's on the wrong one. Alright. Fix that. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Make sure we're good to go, and we'll get things started. Alright, looks like we are here, and we're live. Okay, awesome. So yeah, uh, I think last we left off, music is just a little bit loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. I don't know how much quieter I can go here. Of course, the song just ended. Trying out a, uh, a little bit different... Uh, Playlist, that's the word. Words are hard. <laughs> All right, so. Cool. So, yeah, last we all spoke for those that were hanging out last time. Oh, yeah, we got Gabby, we got Dark Pat, Welcome in Clay. So much progress since Thursday, that's right. Yeah, we, uh, I hung out in the Discord over in my little corner of the world here and was hanging out with some of the members and we were kind of going over shapes of this storage room. And we got, after much, <laughs> much cloudiness, let's put it that way, of me doing a poor job explaining myself, we got a lot of the shapes in there, and uh, got the side roofs and central pillars and all that laid out. And then last night, I was just having a lot of fun, got started on the mosaic floor designs, got those all in, as well as a little bit of the general uh, start for the coloring. So I'm going to start the stream off with a little bit of a question. What do you guys think of these little fire braziers that I have wrapped around the pillar? I did like two kind of different designs. I have one that uses the soul campfires and then I have one where I'm just lit the, the walls on fire since we have fire tick off on the server. I want to know what you guys think is better. I'm really leaning towards the soul campfire ones because up here I did a little bit of a chandelier with them and I think the campfires will work better well let's before I get too ahead of myself let's see if I can do this yeah see I can't I don't think I can light this on fire yeah so that I don't even think that'll work I think we're gonna have to yeah I agree I think we're gonna go with the soul campfire ones I just wanted to at least give other people the idea or give them a little bit of input because I really do appreciate everyone everyone's input on these and then <coughs> oh, excuse me then I went ahead and we have the variable variant chess mod located on the server so we can craft uh, different chests out of all the different colors and types of woods <coughs> oh, excuse me Oh, I forgot to grab my water. I'll have to sneak out at one point to go grab it. But I decided to do the dark oak wood chest. I think it seemed fitting for the darker vibe. But uh, that'll be for the most of the storage room. I think when I actually break it down to the wood types, wherever I end up doing, I will color sort the chests, you know, per each type of wood. So it's a little bit easier to distinguish them. So the plan today is to hopefully finish up the design on this and then we can grab a schematic of it and then set it up on the actual server and then start grinding out the materials for it. That's the hope. And maybe we'll have a few laughs along the way. I'm sure we will. I'm actually currently in the forever discord and I send an open invite to other members if they want to join in and hang out just like we did last week. 
or last time we did. I don't even know last time I streamed. It's probably too long ago if I ask any of you guys. So, kind of what I did here is I just filled up every single spot with the campfires, and then I just turned some of them off. So I don't want too much smoke around here. I started off with them all lit, and it was just way too much going on. I wish there was a way that I could lessen the particles even more. I know I can make taller uh, smoke signals if I put the hay bales below it, but uh, I'm going for less. And that's kind of the reason why I was thinking about doing these this style of fire was because there wasn't as many particles. I wish I could squeeze in some uh, soul sand or something or soul soil and actually get some blue flames in here. That way we don't have to do all of that smoke and signals. Hey, welcome in, respect. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're well. I'll just kind of extinguish some of these at random here. I've been really trying to focus on not just doing as much copy and pasting. So a little bit of a, a detour here. Each one of these little chess bays should be different from the each one. I did each one individually instead of just highlighting the whole area, moving it over with axiom and pasting it. So hopefully there should be enough variation, like classic example, like right here, we kind of see the patterning of that top trim piece. You come over here, it's a little bit different. I, I wanted, didn't want to make it all too easy for myself, if you know what I mean. Get these last couple campfires extinguished. Here we'll call it that. So I realized something uh, last night when we were designing up the stairs here. Uh, boss was kind enough to help me math out this. Then I realized that the math numbers that we were using actually kind of set me up for failure, or at least presented a new challenge, because these stairs are eight wide. So if I wanted to take this center you know, not work mosaic floor, it's, there's no center to it because it's an even number. So I actually have to do a custom floor design on here. And uh, these, all this deep slate is just placeholders for the moment. I just wanted to get rid of all the white wool that I had laying out. Just wanted to get the, the feel of the atmosphere with a little bit darker vibes. And I can't decide if I want to Go ahead and continue this dark prismarine color palette on this section of the roofs. I think that starting right here, this is all going to be the gray wool because it seems like it'd be more fitting as supports for it. So think about is there down would be the uh, dark gray wool or just gray wool, excuse me. Then this would be whatever our ceiling color palette is. And I don't know how I feel about that. I think these also be like that. All right, yeah, well, let's uh, just start off the stream by replacing those. So we'll just go ahead and scroll over here. No, not here. We want to go on to here, do a little replace block feature. And then we can just, if I can do it right. <laughs> oh boy. It's early morning, guys. All right. And once again, I don't want to copy and paste it, so we're gonna end up having to do all this by hand. Which, thanks to Axiom, makes it a little bit easier. I don't have to do that whole left and right click at the same time. I can just fly around here and hold right click. How's everybody doing today? It's a nice, chill Saturday, I think. At least for me. Oh. You know what? I don't know. I'm sold on that one right there. Maybe we'll keep that one. Light gray wool. Perfect. I like what we got going on so far. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, right.
How's it going today? It's going all right. Nice, nice. Been doing some planning, as you know, and now I'm doing a bit of terraforming because I'm, I've had enough of looking at different types of stones. So instead, I'm looking at mud. Oh, well, not mud, dirt. Are you actually on the the server doing yeah, that right now? I'm, I'm actually on forever for once in a noise. Once nice. in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon, I've actually decided to come onto forever. Hey, welcome in, splashes. Splash is over here working with villagers. Sounds like a lot of fun. Not. Oh, yeah, no, it's. Hell. <laughs> so, been. That's all. Yeah, I was just. As you know, I've been do testing out little bits of the gradient and stuff. Mm -hmm. Trying to make it work. And I've had enough of looking at stone. So, I've decided why not? I've just crafted 15 diamond shovels. Oh boy. And decided I'm gonna do a good chunk of the terraforming for a bit. Nice. And then probably do a bit more planning. PTSD every time I look at that marker on the map. Which one? The deep dark. Oh, <laughs> oh your last death? Yep. The only place I've like died to someone to something other than fall damage in you is to the warden. Hmm. Which is a brutal, brutal death, but it's fine. I think we got a little, little something here wrong with my design. Hmm. Gotta turn that off. Just noticed some little bit of inconsistencies here. Tell you what, I like that one better. Well dang it. Are you actually using the wall then for the build, or? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, in the in the roof, no, no. This is just placeholder. Sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say. What? what have I done wrong here? I think this is supposed to be like that. I got all my my eagle eye viewers here to ready to jump in the chat and yell at me when I put blocks in the wrong spot. <laughs> Fair enough. See, this is why I don't live stream. <laughs> it's, it's handy, though. Oh, yeah, no. Except for that little bit of delay where they're like, all right, you, you missed the spot right back there. I'm like, I don't know where that is. That was like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> for you, five. For me, 20. Right. All right, well, let's Time go. totally works like that. Eagle dies engaged. Yes, absolutely. I think these should be like that. Oh, nope, that one's already wrecked. Let's ah, see. Gotta love Light Massacre and telling me that all of the dirt is wrong just because it hasn't turned to grass yet. Oh, yes. Yep. It's alright. I've been putting your beacon to good use. Yeah, I was actually uh, just thinking how much I needed it back, but then instead I just went and got a couple more. Of course. <laughs> Made a few more beacons. Well, why not? Casually. Just so, like, you know what? I need some beacons. Fly out to another fortress and go get two more. Yeah, fair enough. Well, hopefully soon enough. I mean, Boss and I have been trying to set this up for a week or two now, but one of these weekends we're actually going to get around to building the Wither Skull Farm, so. And it'll be mm -hmm. beacons for days. And everyone will have 12 beacons each. Minimum. Minimum, pretty, yeah. Pretty sure that thing makes enough skulls that we can have uh, at least a, a chest full each within that'd a day. That would be quite useful. Actually, I picked that back and probably within an hour. The race on that thing are just insane. Well, I've already got two and a half shulkers full of dirt, and I've not done even like a quarter of the terraforming. So that's fun. One gray layer that's too low on the last one. Oh no. I missed something. Oh no. Well, now you're gonna have to find it, Ty. Now I gotta find it. I might. I'll do a bit more and then I'm gonna go back to planning. Alright. Probably do like. What? Five more minutes of this and then go do some more planning. In other mm. words, I'll be. Hey, Ty. Hey, hey, look at this. Just look. <laughs> 
I'm the apprentice. <laughs> I'm nothing. I mean, to be fair, I, uh, do you know the um, second, like the window bit, the wooden one? Mm hmm. Yeah, I got rid of that and just put a balcony there instead. Oh. Like, we t I tried it as dark oak first, then tried it as spruce, then tried it as mangrove. I was just like, it just doesn't work. At least it didn't work to me. So I was like, nah, balcony instead, it'll do. I think I think I put balcony. I might put a window now. I can't even remember what I put there. Oh no. I know. I don't know how long I've been digging dirt for, like, terraforming for now, but... Uh, you're telling me I'm going to have to remove another mountain. I don't know why I do this to myself. Yeah, my terraforming isn't that bad. It's just leveling out an island and making it a bit more smooth and nice. Hmm. You, it's entire mountain range are gone. And then get complained out in the comments for, uh, com comments? comments for destroying a mountain range to build a new mountain range. That's just how I work sometimes. Hmm. Sometimes you gotta remove a mountain to build a mountain. Exactly. Oh. Alright, I'll do it for now. Do we like how this dark gray goes up a little bit? I think I do like that. Use bombers. No, I need the block splashes. I can't just completely destroy everything. Wait a minute. No, yep. Yeah. I forgot that I decided it wanted to open. I need to close that down. I think I actually like that better. I think it has a little bit of variation here on this roof line. Hmm. Maybe these two. So this is the um, T Rex school then. This yep. is the storage room. Fair enough. So what's this then? Your next build? Yep. Uh, I figure after start the this... uh, after the Guardian farm. Oh, uh, the Guardian farm. No, I think this is going to take uh, priority over the Guardian farm. Uh, so we're going to have to wait another three years for, for Prismarine farm? No, the, the farm's already on the server, I mean... Oh, already... is the farm done? Yeah, the farm's done. Yeah, that's right. Realizing that's it now, I probably should have just waited and just built it over here, honestly. Could have built like a little rock or something to cover it. And just had an ocean monument build right here. Oh well. Mm. Splash has just got a bomber, bomber set up for me. I don't know, I might yeah. just have to. I, ne I need the dirt, don't destroy the dirt. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, need... I actually need the snow, surprisingly. I don't. I can't be bothered to sit there and AFK at a snow golem farm. But yeah, the mountain goes up to like clear up to here and all the way over to there, so at least I need to clear that out first. Hmm. Time to add the grinder rules to the server, have guest people come in and just grind. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. Not something much strange about that. When will I need the snow? Uh, it'll be for this build, Swashes, so... I think... Naturally... Pretty much this what, whole what section of the mountain... For exactly half an hour of terraforming. <laughs> I, I've just done two, like, I did half an hour a couple of days ago, half an hour today. It's like... Bang on half an hour. Well, not 20, it's like 29 minutes, 50 some seconds. Hmm. It's like, and then I'm like, right, that's enough terraforming, do something else. Nah, push through. Oh, hey, I didn't even see you joined in. Uh, I forget if you want to go by Viking or the Raiding Viking. Well, welcome in. Uh, to answer your question, Splashes, this is all going to be like snowy topped mountains, and then there'll be snow layers on top of the skull that I'll just let naturally. Actually, I should probably make it too thick so mobs don't spawn up there. Yeah, I'll need most of the snow for the top of this build, and then it'll transition to snow, or sorry, stone. And then a little bit of mossy overgrown bits below it. Well, it turns out I instead I just put nothing there where that little balcony was, where the little window thing was. Mm -hmm. But I put a window next to it, so where it was, so it looks all right. Okay. The gradient looks all right. I don't know. 
I like what you got going so far. Yeah, it's just as long as I don't ruin it now. I might finally have my starter base done by the time you've built your second mega project, it's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I've told everybody in my last video that I planned on putting out a video every three to five months, and I'm already two months in. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling the crunch here. Oh yeah, no, I thought I would have had my, my base done by now. At least done planning by now. And I, I just haven't. I could definitely use some more time to complain. But that's what I, I mean, get for fun. releasing a video as soon as I'm done with it and not trying to start on the next project. Hmm. Uh, I have say. no idea when I'll need those splashes. No idea. I'm just saying, it could have been a good idea for like all of us who are on the server just to have a video recorded and all upload them in like January of the next year. And then like the ser we started the server th like this year or last year, but didn't upload till 2025 or something. <laughs> so, so we had a few videos ready. All have had like two videos ready and other projects like half done. Hmm. It, I don't know how that would have affected the algorithm and whatever and the YouTube side of it, but yeah it may it probably would have put a little bit less pressure on the people who joined the server after you lot because like well, one I mean, I've, I've put a lot of pressure on myself to make a massive starter base because well you and De uh, you and boss have yeah well so i mean I, truthfully a few of the members got added after my video was you know out that's how we got some of our members so mm. i mean yeah you well i got added like a week or two then then your video went up, and uh, since then I've planned the shape of my mega base. Got annoyed at the texturing of it. Decided to do a gradient, and has now had to push it back an extra month. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Only got a few weeks, then I'm free for like ten weeks, so I'll have ten weeks of nothing but Minecraft. Nice. Which means. Multiple creative videos, forever SMP video. Still got to even. I haven't even started planning what I want to do with um. Uh, uh what I want to do with Josh for our collab. Hmm. I have like I've got a mental plan of it, but no, nothing actually like built or anything. Oh, that's cool. The same chandelier with the um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cause death to start twitching i'm using hopper as decorative bits so i don't know how he's gonna feel about me introducing unnecessary lag onto the server by i mean they're they're a perfect shape for it i'll connect into the mm -hmm. bottom ones and then you can make them be like shorter as variation they got good shapes to it also welcome in sober robert i hope you're doing a well today Fine, don't worry. Josh will have episode 200 of Forever SP up. You'll have episode 2, and I'll finally upload episode 1. No fine. rush. All no will, rush. All will be good. It probably would help if I wasn't working on other videos at the same time, but mm -hmm. yeah. Operating within the allowable parameters. No worries, Gabby. It's just a chill stream today. <sighs> well back soon yeah it does look it looks really useful i should probably start learning how to use it at some point it would probably help mm -hmm. it would probably make uh texturing a lot easier as well uh, i think so between that world edit yeah i mean if i could actually use the uh, mask tool properly i could probably do my uh, grading a lot quicker but it's, can I be bothered to do the commands? No. Even though it'd be quicker once I do the commands. Yeah. I love that. Gotta love it. Playing a game really bad for your mental health. What? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's... Oh. Oh. Are you... Playing Elden Ring or something. Or Plasmophobia. Phasmophobia, yeah, that would work. 
I hate how the little the heart icon is like right there at the bottom of the chat, so I can't read typically that yeah, one no, word. It's like it's just poorly placed. Mm. Like they can't. So it's it... to disable it or anything? I don't know. Um, Timestamps. I, don't... I feel like I should be able to put it like more further down, like where my chat little window is. Mm. It's a weird spot. Yeah, I don't know why it's there. Right, you would have thought they might have even put it next to the actual like chat bit where it's like emoji chat and that yeah exactly like they just put it there just have like a a commonly used emoji or something right there next to that emoji thing mm. like a frequent used I mean, one it is, it is cool that youtube's like added it so people can like do it quickly mm. but it is slightly even if it's like half a, a centimeter further to the right or something yeah just let me see that last word i mean it could very well be that i just had my window like narrowed down so much that i've kind of squished yeah it, it. Might, it might just be that but i mean it's the same for me to be fair it's just covering the uh, uh, like the y of my mm. so yeah i'm also trying to see how many blocks i can remove without punching through here to optimize this build as much as possible i don't want to have to gather one shulk or more materials that i don't have to i spent quite a bit of time in that last stream removing unnecessary blocks hmm. oh, i'm looking forward to having to gather all of the building materials for my build it's gonna be so fun grind is part of it as much as i know as much as i'd love to add like players on the server it could be our, our grinders. There's just something more rewarding about when you oh, yeah, no. finish to build yourself. It just doesn't help that I'm used to building in creative. True. But, yeah, whatever. It's, it's not like I've had to stop building. In, it's not like I've had to stop building in creative. That's why it's, it's nice to do the odd creative project where I don't have to worry about gathering resources. Which the majority of my videos still are just creative projects for now. Nothing wrong with that. Exactly. As long as... Eventually, I would love to upload more survival content, especially, like, once I've got my starter base done, I can do some smaller projects on... Uh, on Forever, do smaller just survival builds on it, like, how to... Yeah. Because, of course, I want to build an entire medieval, like, kingdom where my base is. Like, I want to build, like... A road and like five or six houses on it that could be an entire episode if i really wanted it to be yeah and it's a bit less grinding but still i get to build stuff and all that uh so. splashes uh i think i'll need a bit of both which i don't mind setting up a little snow golem farm and then like i said i'll be collecting the snow blocks as i prep this area and then sober robert i did hear who is the new zetacraft discord moderator congratulations to that to you sir So I was thinking for, oh, I forgot to change these out. Let's go ahead and do my block switcher here. Uh, but what I was saying is that I think I'm going to, I was kind of playing around with it last night and I'm not completely sold. I wanted to see what my viewers thought of the idea. Once I get these done, I will show you, but I'm thinking that the black pillars, I will use the deep slate tiles and the cracked deep slate tiles for the pillars give them a little bit of separation and when i first did it initially my thought was is that it seemed too too much if that'd be the right word like it was such a drastic difference so then i thought that maybe it would make more sense if i were to do these trim bits with the deep slate tiles in that variety and then have these be the polished and bricks hey welcome in uh, i think that's nontella <laughs> uh i don't think i have a lurk command in my i at least i've i haven't set one up so i always thought it was a client side thing Ugh. 
So let's go ahead and try this here. See what we think of it. Oop, that's not the right one. All right. Well, I've pretty much yeah, I've done that wall. I need to do the gradient on the um, dormers though. That's gonna be mm. fun. Bye. Just do the top with top of it like that. Is it stone then cobblestone? Oh, yes. Yeah, just Nutella. Cobble. All right. Welcome in Nutella. I love some Nutella. That is a subject I could talk all day about. I <laughs> ate so much of that as a kid, and actually as an adult too. Let's be honest. So you're gonna be? Oh, you can. Wait, 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 wait. Lego require a few hundred thousand snow. Long. Crafting snow is more difficult in 1.21? What did they change? If I'm interpreting that correctly. Everything. Like I, I remember oh. when they first introduced the powdered snow, people were farming it with the cauldrons. Let's try, try this out, see what you guys think. It, I think I did it was like 80% of the deep slate tiles to 20% cracked the tiles. What do we think about this? Is this too much? Thinking that maybe I need to also do the gray wool as well. Maybe that'll help tie it in a little better. Might just be a just a drastic difference between the the gray wool texture and the deep slate texture. Let's... My blooming my last stream was miles behind. Um, let's go ahead and try and doing the gray wool too, since we have the whole area highlighted. Okay, that tied it in a lot better. I think I could get behind that. Because they actually look like pillars. But now my question is, is that it almost seems more fitting. I like to look at this from a realism standpoint. It seems like these, the much smaller bricks, would be better suited for these little archways and trim bits than yeah, the larger the ones. Larger, like, brick bricks for the pillars, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I remember I messed this up last time, so I want to make sure I do this the correct way. I, uh, when I ran the command to replace polish deep slate, I did the floor too, so I need to make sure I get myself up a little bit higher in this selection. No, I don't want to go to survival mode. So if I just bring this up one more here, I want, why can't I right click? Oh, because I have replace on. Okay. Now let's try, try that. First, let's undo, oops, undo that too. Now let's do replace polish deep slate as deep slate tiles. And then what is Deep slate bricks as cracked deep slate tiles. Why? Oh, that's why. Okay. Deep slate bricks as. Let's do those as tiles. Perfect. And then I'll need to replace those later on. You can make snow farms with blasters, but crafting snowballs into the blocks. Oh, oh, I got you now, Splashes. I follow. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. I didn't mess up my floor, so now let's go ahead and do... Gray wool. And the deep slate tiles will do 80% deep slate bricks. And then these will also be... Like bricks. I don't know how that looks. But I've tried to do the grading on the dormers and it's just. I don't know. Okay, I 
like that much better. And then I think I can also, you know what, let's add a little bit more variation in there. Let's instead do, say, 60% deep slate. And let's add in, make that 10%. Then we'll need 30% polished deep slates. I can spell polished. There we go. Okay, that's even better. And let's swap that out to gray wool. Then we'll need to think of some sort of radiant and or color for the roofs, because I don't think I want to leave it as completely deep slate. Or sorry, dark prismarine, excuse me. Hmm. Let's go ahead and right quick. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll see what you're talking about in about five minutes. <laughs> when all of my edits actually finally catch up on stream. Mm-hmm. Far as I'm aware of my stream, yeah, it's still live, not like three minutes behind like it was earlier. Oh man, when I was uh, streaming in Discord, I was lagging so bad, I almost felt sorry for everybody. They're trying to explain <laughs> stuff to me and it, it was seriously a, a, quite a bit of time. Pause. So my eagled eyes viewers were like, yeah, that one block there. I'm like, I'm on the other side of the storage room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, no, I could not imagine streaming in Discord. But especially with more than like five or six people. I wasn't, like, trying to... yeah, it wasn't too bad as far as that. It was more so just the actual visuals of everything. So yeah, I guess this would be a good self-promo time that if you're not already, please feel free to join my Discord and you never know, I might just hang, jump on one night and hang out and stream to everybody, a little private stream session. You can jump in the voice call and hang out. And you don't have to listen to me in there. <laughs> oh no, we're going to require that you have to be there from now oh, on. My, my, do I have to be in all of them now? Even yep. if it's like three in the morning for me, I have to yes, wake up. Exactly right. I'm pretty sure it was, at least I know for Lime, it was five and then 6 a.m. for him. And then he went to sleep like 8 p.m. that next night. <laughs> so, just force him. Like you have to be here then. It's, it's a contractual ob exactly. obligation. I'm contractually yeah. obligated to be here. So, um, let's see, what goes what good? What contracts? I don't know, I didn't sign one, but I have to be here, apparently. Let's think of a quick little gradient To be fair, the here. gradient, that's, I was, on the topic of gradient, I was doing the gradient on the first dormer just to see how it would look. Mm -hmm. And up close, it looks terrible. Far away, it looks, like, it actually looks decent. That's how some gradients have to be. Like, there needs to be a little bit of artistic interpretation with it. Hmm. Especially when you're going from uh, stone to cobblestone, it just feels weird. It's really about usually the what? closest we got here for gradients. Mm. I want to use concrete. Oh yeah, concrete. Or no, terracottas. Oh, there's copper in here too. Let me not think. Let me not forget about copper. I uh, took some copper in the roof. Yeah, got be wax copper, of course. These are a little bit on the lighter side, it seems, even though that's fully oxidized. That might be a bit extreme. I don't want to do a completely copper roof. I want the warped wood to stand out, so it wouldn't make sense for me to have it in the roof gradient. Oh, that's such a stark difference. Hmm. Alright, just, just for giggles, let's try it. Did I highlight the whole area? Let's see what happens. This is why we're in creative. Dark Marine. Wax, oxidized copper. 20, where's my percent? Oxidized cut copper. What does that do? Oh, that is way too bright. Yep. That's an easy no for me. 
There's a, another thing to consider is that I have night vision on right now. So if I were to clear my effects, that'd be a better idea of what it's going to look like. I mean, look how much darker that is. Honestly, you almost don't even need a gradient. You won't be able to see it. It's not going to be lit up enough. I think I'll just get away with the dark prism ring instead of sitting there being over analytical. The only thing I really want to do, I think I need to beef up this. Actually, let me go ahead and give myself some effects here so you guys can see what I'm doing as well, because I can see well, but I don't think you guys can. I want well, to that dark. beef up these supports. Probably bring these all the way up to here, I'm thinking. I think that'll be... Because, I mean, this does not look strong enough to hold up this entire arch and support this roof, so... Actually, if I were to bring it up all the way to here, where's this transfer to on this one? Yeah, actually, let's just do that. Um... It's a good way that I can do this. Um... Should be able to... Fly through the wall a little bit. On the right level here. Right here if we were to like this be a large enough selection area fly right down over here the inside of this so Here, maybe? Let's do what happens. I can always do, if it's not quite perfect, I can refine the rest of it. Replace. Oop, not plus. Dark Prismarine. What were those percentage? Let's just swap it all out to polished deep slate, and I can fix it as needed. Oh, wasn't quite far enough over on either of these. Isn't there... I feel like there's a way that I can do this with Axiom. But yeah, I'm definitely liking the bulkiness of it because I'll just take this and finish it out right there. That way the wall kind of more refined. Right, let's just go ahead and do the replace blocks. I'm not in a hurry. Are you guys? You guys got anything else to do today? Uh, not for an hour and a half. Okay. Right. I don't mind doing it the hard way. Like last night, I was just kind of enjoying doing everything by hand. Mm. Sometimes a little bit of the grindy bits can be more entertaining. Keep your mind occupied. At least that's how it's felt for me. Like every once in a while I'll get like a little itch to do a little bit of grind. So I'll go and gather some sand. Villagers. Yeah, there's an ultimate grind for you. I can't Good. be asked with villagers. I'm just going to steal yours at some point. You'll never know. Wait, actually steal or just use? Just use, <laughs> not steal. I might, I might take a villager just as a joke. Oh no. I actually need to finish filling out my trading hall. I I have a few more spots that I wanted to fill in before we update you, to I'll just, I'll just go to your villager breeder and just, make, uh, just steal one of the, the uh, villagers from it. Just set yourself up a huge water channel from my villager breeder to your area? Yeah, it's only about 16,000 blocks. Yeah, yeah. Fine. honestly, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be kind of impressed for that kind of dedication. I'm like, how are you just loading like those a, chunks? A Roman aqueduct from your base <laughs> all the way to mine. Like, that, fancy as well, not just a dirt bridge, it has to be fancy. That would be hilarious. Like I said, I wouldn't even be mad about that. I might do it. <laughs> be my first mega- be the first video I'll upload, it's just that. Oh, no worries, respect. I appreciate you hanging out for as long as you will. I mean, once again, this is a Saturday. I do appreciate everybody taking their time to hang out with me. I know my weekends are typically pretty busy with my own family, so I do appreciate everybody who has stopped, stopped by today. Mm. 
what was that command? Gray wool, 60%. Okay. We can just highlight this. This is how I do things. Okay, then we'll, whoops. Paste that in and we'll just swap gray wool to yes. polished deep slate. Fair enough. It does look pretty cool to be fair time so far. Thank you. The, the storage room is already looking better than my entire starter base. I was joking that I think your starter base might be able to fit inside here. Uh, Probably not because of height. Oh, I gotta highlight the proper area. And also I think my base is a bit wider and a bit longer. I think got a little bit of a different shape to it. Mm, and it's a yeah different shape. I think, um, in in terms of height, how tall is this? It's um, fifty. Did you say, or was it? Oh, that was a guesstimation. I mean, if we're going uh, to the yeah. the highest point, I mean, actually, here I'll just tell you. Let's go there. The there. That is 42 blocks. So yeah, a little shorter. Yeah, my base is a bit more than that. It's the like the main house bit, not including the towers. The tallest bit of that is 75. So mm. just just a bit taller. Time I'm going to use Axiom to extend it now to make it bigger. <laughs> no, I I'm literally about as high as I can go because at most I could go up two more two or three more blocks and then I'll run into the issue of you to go up go down yes yeah, so yeah then I'd have to move it back because the stairway and the, yeah, the grand fine. plan with that is that I have this huge opening on this side and people will probably like time this opens up to nothing I am aware of that so I mm -hmm. as I discussed in the discord last night or Thursday night is that there's already this nice little ocean river right here and I will actually set it up to be like an ocean cave there will be an opening in the cliff behind the palace here that kind of has some of those vibes and then inside here will be a dock it makes sense to have a, a sea side style castle that have some sort of major port to support the castle you'll have the standard harbor over here that the everyday citizens will get to use. But then as far as like the actual personal Jarl or King, whoever we end up deciding to raise up to that position, so they all have their own personal one. And then this little Harbor right here will be for the actual village. So the village will wrap pretty much from where these trees are all the way around this little mountain here. I might just clean it up a little bit, but I don't think I need to. I mean, maybe I'll just build up on top of it some sort of religious place or something oh, see the respect and then we'll have the uh the town wrap all the way around go build some sort of bridge across this harbor here and then it will follow this hillside to the pathway yeah and that that'll lead to the main keep this is literally just supposed to be like a fortress i might put a few houses in here but i think for the most part it's supposed to be like the seat of a military place slash yeah. you know religious almost uh what would you call that a journey whatever you, what you call pilgrimage it. pilgrimage there's the word thank you i, I would have struggled with, I, I would have struggled with that one for a while all right i like this and honestly this in uh this material list relatively feasible like i could get started on this today but we need to finish up the floor pattern first in and this area this area oh it's just we're just focusing on the storage room today. just focusing on the storage room ah yep. looks like i need to put in some more oops there i go again with that, the replace yeah, feature it's not like my base where i've decided blackstone just a godly amount of blackstone which means bribing um with boss to let me use his bartering farm. So I just get back to them. Yeah. 
because I can't be asked to mine 50 some thousand blocks of blackstone. Probably more, I don't actually know. Last time I checked, my base was about 250,000 blocks without air or something like that, I don't know. I mean, you and Lime, man, you guys are trying to build a whole new biome right off the bat. But I guess I did kind of set the bar high. <laughs> Okay. I can probably I can check actually. Um, if I do the like, if I set up the temporary light matica, it might be a bit less. It actually should only be a few hundred thousand. Not well. When I say a few hundred thousand, I mean like a hundred thousand, not two hundred fifty thousand. Um, why are, why are there no dark prismarine walls? Tell me that. Riddle me that. Why do we not well, have dark prismarine it's walls? The same, it's the same conundrum as why is there no uh, polished uh, like quartz walls. Not polished quartz, uh, polished andesite and stuff like that. Or, or quartz. Why is there no walls? Or yes. quartz, true. There's no quartz walls in general. Uh, like Spl that, okay. I need the funny stick. Splashes or, needs, splashes needs quartz and terracotta. Good luck with that one. <laughs> You're definitely going to need to set up a huge villager breeder and trading hall for that. Yeah, there's not a placement I need. This area one. selection budding is that actually got it no it needs to come one more block this way oh i've made a great mistake mistakes were made um i just accidentally set point one and point point two of the light matica to the same place so now it's not <laughs> what i wanted oh, no somewhere down there Oh, that was actually close. Just needs to be two blocks lower, and then that would have been the right um, place. Uh, there is and a actually... button that you can do to just extend the binding box in like Matica. Was that that'll do? Uh, is it, it's either Control or Alt. You can hold it and use your scroll wheel to open up the box. There... This is not including like detailing because I've only detailed like four of the several hundred walls of this place. <laughs> Because every time I finish detailing, I'm like, wait a minute. Maybe oh, I should do no. a uh, maybe I should change the gradient to make it look better. Ah, well now I have to redo the entire gradient across the entire build before I can even start putting in all the windows and stuff. I hear that. And then I decide to put in the windows first, because then it makes gradienting easier. Because mm -hmm. it means I put the windows in and I'm not gonna spend far like it, of course it won't be. It's not like I'm spending five minutes to do the gradienting of the area where the window is, but it adds up when you're doing extra gradienting, which is just going to be got rid of for windows. Uh, um, uh, it's me relearning how to use Light Matica after a month. <laughs> I think that's a just... good call, Splashes, that go for the uh, the gold farm and the bartering. For quartz, it'll be a little bit slower, but, you know, what's a little oh, bit yeah. of AFK time? You have ench what, what enchantments do they have? Do they have efficiency? Please tell me they have efficiency. I will buy them off of you. I me? will send real real money to you. You need efficiency. Shovels. Splashes just has informed you that... Exactly. Yeah, has enchanted shovels now. But yeah, if you need efficiency five bucks, I literally just stocked up my entire shulker box. I have 27 I also, efficiency five. Bucks. I need enchants. I don't I, I have like three things which are enchanted and that's my armor. Mm-hmm. Because, of course, I took a break from YouTube for a month, as well as just everything. <laughs> I played, more, I played like, Valorant and stuff, because I just got bored, so I was just like, right. I'm burnt out from Minecraft, because I spent God knows how long doing, like, all of that work on my uh, starter base, just for me to think, right, I need to redo all of it. Oh, no. So I was just like, I'm, I'm taking a break, or else uh, I will end up deleting all of it, <laughs> without realising all of, like, the good stuff that's there. Like, the shape is great. Like... And the the weather the weather gradient that I learned from you that's all that looks all good. Mm. It's just like God, I'm going to destroy everything if I if I keep looking at this for an hour like any longer. I need to play something else. I need to do something else for a bit. And then I also had other stuff that I was doing that I needed to do for college. It be like that sometimes. Sometimes you got to adult. Exactly. Sometimes I got to adult, which is annoying. Anyway, back to trying to save a like mat uh, like Matica command. Right, configure menu. That's not con that's not the right thing. Um, right, where is area selection? Area editor. To editor, it's editor. Save schematic. 
why am I saving it in uh, uh, test? We'll save it in test. Save schematic. Right. Base 50. I'm gonna load up the. Uh... Yes, cool. Efficiency 2. Blocks. Okay, so my base. If that's. I'm assuming that's right, because that's the two. Is it? Right. So the 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 side. Fuck. Jesus. Easy. <laughs> easy. Easy. Whoa, Got... buddy. Wow. Right. Right. If if I'm if I'm reading this right, blocks to volume. So the first is how many blocks are actually there. So that's like glass, dirt, wool, and all of that. And then the volume would be everything. So that's including air and stuff, right? Um. Yes. Oh, no, light mass. Okay, Vo so currently would imply the entire area. Yeah, yeah. So currently, my base is one hundred sixty-seven thousand. I want to say. Oh my. Yeah, one hundred sixty-seven thousand. So it's a uh, about half the size of yours so far. But that's without any of the interior floors, because I'm not building the actual interior. But I want to get all of, like the floors and stuff in, so I can have like all it lit up properly, without so I don't have to worry about mob spawning in there mm -hmm. when I want to go and do the interior. Hey, what uh, and that's that's also not including the the towers because the towers are not finished. So it's including like the towers to what they are now, but it's not including the roofs of the towers and all of that. Yeah, yeah. So it'll probably end up being about two hundred or thousand blocks, I would think, which is it's not bad. I think so, that's, that's still very respectable. It's my biggest build I've ever done. So yeah. It might end up being more if I start... Oh, because then I've got to do the gardens as well. Mm. So that's a lot of... To be fair, the gardens aren't that big. But they're still... Gonna be sizable. And then there's the custom trees I want to do on the island. As well. And the bridge. But the bridge is going to be a separate little thing that I'll just build. Like, freehand. No planning before it. Just sit and build it. Probably not even do it on camera. There's a YOLO in there somewhere. I know it. Exactly. To be fair, if you don't, it's a good, probably like a good ten to twenty thousand of this is like you know all the uh, blackstone walls. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a good ten to twenty thousand by the end of the build. Oh, I'm sure. Because I've doubled up all of the roofs because of that, so nothing spawns on them. <laughs> Yes, this will be a, uh, a mini-game trying to put everything away. I could not agree more. But the, the whole reason and idea behind me making this as granted it, as it is, is so that I can fly around here. Like, I do not anticipate that I'm going to want to be running around to put away, you know, three sticks over here and then go all the way, run up the stairs, come up here to put away two pitcher pod plants or something. I'll be flying, don't you worry. It's fine, he'll never know, but I'll be also using his storage room as mine. <laughs> you'll never know. There's that much there's that many chests, you'll never know. I mean, but I'll just I'll just take a corner to myself and just like fill it with dirt. The idea behind it is that to build it way bigger than I'll ever need it. Is honestly exactly. I, I know how I play Minecraft and I I collect and grind for a purpose. I don't just collect block blocks to have them in my storage room. I, mm. I collect them because I plan on building with them, so they don't stay in there forever. This time next year, Tom, your storage room is going to be full of dirt. I'm going to oh. fill every chest with dirt. I, go ahead and try. I'll get some shulker boxes for you. Well, I might have to. Uh, might I... have to. Rec might but might be easy to do it with sand actually, because that's that's possible. We that's have death true. on this server. This is true. We do have a gravity block duper, so anything that it's falls. We, hey yo, guess we what could, the date is? It's April. Should, we, should, we could time. fill it up. It's prank time by filling his entire storage system with sand and gravel. Bad. It's almost a funny prank. <laughs> almost. Mm. <laughs> almost funny. That, it's that, not. It's not larger than my starter pack. It's about the same size. It's about the same size as my starter base. 
Listen, it's not the size of your storage room. It's how you use it, okay? We all know yeah. that. Exactly. This is going to end up being everyone's storage room because he's never going to be able to fill it anyway. I mean, I would honestly Our challenge, challenge death and he would probably give it a valiant valiant attempt. To fill it with sand and gravel. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, truthfully, if I didn't use shulker boxes, there is a chance that I could fill it. Mm. But I, I prefer shulker boxes just because Wait, it's easier doing... to grab and go. Yeah. That night, I don't want to do any sort of redstone or anything for it, so mm. it'll all be manual. It's all right. Every time I dig out a giant hole and don't need the dirt from it, it's going in here. Perfect. Every I'll time find, I... I'll find a home for it. Mm, exactly. It will end up being used. I'll come back in like three weeks. I was like, actually, I could use some of that dirt. Where did? Oh yeah, time space. Come back, it's all gone. Sorry, I it's turned it into mud and I built with it. Oh yeah, no, you're not gonna get dirt for a while because I need mud for my base as well for the um, like the courtyard. Hmm. Oh, which cool. I'm gonna need to. I might need to put slabs for it as well because I need to spawn proof it. Or I might just do the more simple well, method of create some black car, uh, not black, uh, brown carpet. Well, mud uh, and mud blocks are not spawnable. Are they not? No. See, look, look at my look at my screen here. Look at uh, my my Y. I'm actually on it here. It is should have been seven eighths of a block short. This I'm on five. Yeah, it should uh, be. I like mud. It's like packed mud and mud bricks. Yeah, th those are spawnable, but these should be just a one tiny pixel smaller. That's why you'll actually, if you notice, see how you drop down when you go from mud to not. Right. Well, the courtyard's becoming just plain mud. Yeah. It's a good way to spawn proof, honestly. It'd probably work as well. It'll look like a grimy courtyard. Could work. I'm kind of getting uh, vibes of Castle Volcahar from the Skyrim. Dongar expansion. Hmm. Right, I'm going to test it now. Let's actually have a look. Just do a quick replace command and then. If oh, I don't like the way it looks, I can just. Definitely just... like all of these braziers that are around here. Oh, yeah, those are pretty cool, to be fair. I've just been sat watching you make them for a little bit. I think I need to do something in the corner. So I believe it was. Uh... I don't know if slash, slash Dark Bat, if you're the Bat Bot that was hanging out on Thursday, but I think you were yeah. the one that suggested I do giant barrels here on the end. And I was trying, I was experimenting, trying to refine the shapes. You know what, here, let's go ahead and let you guys actually see what I'm doing here. I was trying to nail down some barrel designs to fit right here, and I just couldn't find... I wanted them laying down. The idea was is that I just took the spruce, some stairs, and I just started off with a what five five block diameter circle. To be fair, the mud courtyard kind of works because of course I'm gonna put like um I'm gonna put stuff in it that will make because it it looks horrible just to pure mud but when i'm thinking about adding all the little like plant pots and stuff mm -hmm. like you've got similar to how you, obviously similar to you've done it, it's almost like that's common in courtyards of big fancy houses doing something like that i think it will work and it's not like i can't mix in other stuff as well i can mix in some other stuff which means yeah, yeah i'll have to spawn proof bits of it but i can hide some lighting Hide some lighting, exactly. Right, well, it's now being left as mud. Actually, can't... This. I can use trap doors. This was the problem I was running into. Sorry to cut y'all. <laughs> no, I was just fun. trying to round out my circle a little bit more, and I couldn't figure out a way. If I use trap doors, it gives me that little bit of a... Just a couple pixels taller. Yeah, instead of the slaps, yeah. See, how far are we into the stream so far? Where's my time limit? I'm well, not my time limit, timekeeper here. I forget how long it says I've been streaming, but I need to grab myself some water. So I'm gonna hop in a, a quick little commercial break here and go grab my water. So let's see. Cut to commercials.
Okay, water break has been taken care of. Let's get back into this. Oh, yeah. to commercial. This completely forgets I have an ad blocker. <laughs> I don't even know if that works, so I I apologize for I ads. I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't get ads even if it works. Yeah, barrel shapes. Obviously, I would make these extended amount. I'm just going for the general shape here. So if I were to over here to this, I'm assuming it worked. Because everything was frozen, now it's not frozen. Ah, uh, it's because I was on the pause screen. Ah, yeah, fair enough. Hard to move. Actually, I don't want to move. I want to extend. Let's stack. Oh, whoops. Cool. Couldn't tell you either. Yeah, that's fine. You love how your stream, your viewers went up, and of course, as you were doing that, you were having a drink of water. <laughs> Terrible. It'd be like that sometimes. All right. Light matica was some, uh, not light matica. Um, it'd be so useful. You what? Oops. Actually, yeah. it'd be so useful. For me. I wish, I wish that you had like a wood, wood stair. Because I'd honestly rather have this texture be on the outside ring, and then have the plank texture on the inside for the inside. lid. Yeah. Yeah. Guess well, what I should do is I should move it up. It can make sense to. Have yeah, it up so it's one not iron. on the on the floor. Yeah. It'd make sense for Mojang to add uh, new blocks. Never gonna happen. That's something that I talked to several people about before. That, you know, all these modded things are showing just how feasible it is to add blocks to the game. It's just Mojang is refusing to. Mm. And we've kind of come to the conclusion that it's because the the viewership and the interaction is really good right now. But so maybe when Minecraft kind of takes a little bit of a dive as far as people being interested in it, that's when they'll start considering adding in... You know, a new feature Another to an major update. update. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Which is annoying. Like, you could just bring out these good updates all the time and keep the player base. But instead, you'll do a major update, get the player base back, do terrible. Do well, they're not terrible updates. They do add stuff to the game. Like, I'm mm -hmm. quite happy about the new bamboo and all the new tough blocks that we're going to get with the next update. To be fair, they are actually putting in a decent amount of effort from what I've been seeing, at least of this update, which is quite nice. But like, if they just kept, I, I can, I do understand that making a fully functioning update that works with the current version of the game and will never need will work with all future versions of the game. Yeah, it takes a lot more time than making a mod that will only work with, say, 1.12. Mm -hmm. But still, it would be nice for them to do more major updates than they are. Which I mean, I, I have no, com I have no understanding of game design to be fair. But it would be nice to get bigger updates more often. Yes. Kind of the way that I've... Wow, I just lost my complete train of thought there. Uh, where was I going? I was, saying, I was saying something along the lines that... I don't even remember what I was saying anymore. Wow, I... Someone in chat. <laughs> Anyone remember? Where's the people reading my brain? I need someone to read my brain and tell me what I was going to say. There we go. Maybe we can even get rid of these. Refine that shape just a little bit more. What the hell? Those are. Oh, I need to this shape side too. See, that is a, a fugly looking barrel. Yeah, I don't it's know. A if barrel nonetheless. I don't know if I'm completely sold on it. Maybe I just need to make them bigger. Maybe instead of doing a five wide, we need to go for a seven wide. Maybe barrels and circles are hard to make in a game where you only have squares. No, no, you stop that. <laughs> the scale you have to do to make a perfect circle in this game is mental. I think it's two things. One, making sure it works for this game, and that people tend to update servers. Imagine five years pass and they don't put out an update and it fries. True. 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 I get that. So that's. I'm not saying we need an update, a major update every month. No. Like, 
one major update a year and three small updates and I'd be happy. Oh, now I remember what I was going to say. Uh, so, if you think about it, the fact that Mojang is continuing to update the game is mostly from a business standpoint to so that way they can keep selling merch, which is where they're getting a majority of their income that they have mm. to, you know, justify paying the millions of dollars that they did from Notch. But uh, for a game that only costs, what was it cost, like $27 now? The fact that they are continuing to update and add features to the game is very surprising to where, you know, you have other developers like EA, for instance, that do have like, microtransactions and, you know, you pay to add features and there's something that they could implement if they wanted to, but instead they're choosing to put these updates out for free. So it's one of those you got to play both sides of the fence here because they could make a lot more money by doing microtransactions, but they'd probably lose a lot of their player base. So, uh, Bedrock. Oh, is that how it is on Bedrock? Yep, you can buy DLCs and stuff on Bedrock. Oh my. Yep. And the DLC content is really good hmm. because you're paying for it. I mean, at least it's worth it in that sense. Those are not what I wanted. Okay. So I'm thinking that maybe we can make a cool barrel door or lid, excuse me, trap doors. What happens here? That's, yeah, it's, that's, <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, Splash, I do understand that it does take forever to make a update, and I do understand why. And I completely, yeah, I'm not saying that I hate them for not being able to put out major updates. I completely understand it, like, especially with a game like Minecraft, where you need to make sure it works, uh, like, instantly, in a way. Like, of course, there is bugs with some stuff, and they can patch them later on. But if you if you release an update and it destroys everyone's servers, mm -hmm. then yeah. Whereas with like games like what, when they were constantly updating Battlefront Two and stuff like Star Wars Battlefront Two, of course that's not in. They've um, stopped doing that now because of the rights ran out and all of that. It needs to move. Um, they could do that because if they added a something that was really laggy they could just fix it in the next update because they were doing updates every week pretty much they were doing a major content update nearly every month mm. so, oh good morning I, boss welcome to the stream i guess it's, it would be different with minecraft and uh like games like that because well minecraft isn't is isn't a live service game is it whereas they are at least i don't think minecraft would be classed as live service or whatever you call it. I don't know. I, I, my understanding of game design and development is very limited. So, mm. so Splashes, it's funny that you bring up 1.13 because for me, that's actually the the version that reignited my passion for Minecraft. I think that that's when they really buttoned down and really started to add more to the game that was a major update for what it was very Fair successful enough. update i was gonna say one across keep forgetting your stream is a few seconds behind okay. i don't know why i'm tired i actually woke up quite late i think i got my six or seven hours of sleep so i'm I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm. you do have a good point there, boss. 1.18 was a huge update, but by then I I didn't need any more convincing. I was already, I was already sold. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm actually so, trying to remember, because I, I played Minecraft 8 for ages and then stopped, and then I can't remember when I started playing it again properly. But here's an idea. Let's take... Take this, let's clone it, and I'm going to try it in a different color.
color. I think. Ooh, fancy. You're going to do different types of barrels, different colors, or just testing it. I'm just going to do some testing. I want to try a dark oak one. Hmm. <laughs> and then forgets he has a night vision on, so he turns it off, just cannot see the barrel at all. Right, 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 right. Uh, so actually, let's cancel. Keep walking into them. I want to move this one first. Move it out of the way. Get it as close as we can go to the wall here. Okay. I think this section, other than the chimneys, are done. Nice. Uh, so that's one of the god knows how many walls I need to do. Done. That's part of one of the walls done. That needs doing now. That little bit there needs doing. Uh, and then I'll... To be fair, I think I've done the shape now. Like, entirely. I've, I'm happy with the shape. With, like, the smaller version. The guest house is literally, like, a miniature version of the actual house, which is quite cool. But it's also different in its own way. Mm. It has it has some of the same key features, like a, a big circular tower and chimneys and stuff. The stables are just kind of there. They're chilling. 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 So I'm I'm quite happy with the shape. I just need to get all the, once I get the detailing done, it'll probably feel. I think it's at the stage where it doesn't feel complete, but as soon as I get one more thing done, it's like oh wait, this is going to take me like a few weeks, and then I'm done. Once the design aspect's done, it's typically a lot, a lot faster. Hmm. And then there's the whole editing thing, and that's a nightmare in its own self all right so i think that if we do that and then there's building it yes yeah the it's building good. doesn't take that long yeah no especially with like I'd, I'd much rather build than edit <laughs> oh yeah that's it i need to get new editing software soon i've got the money at the moment but i'm not going to get it until next week mm. just so i have a bit of like extra money. Finance. Fun. Love finance. I agree with you, Splashes. 1.13 had a lot of bugs that did actually make the gameplay far more difficult. They definitely had a, a lot of issues with lag and stuff working. The information in with the introduction of the help. You know that caused a lot uh, of a lot of issues. As much as I want to say, as much as I hate saying it, I think I was playing Fortnite at that time. Honestly, you can you can see yourself out. <laughs> I think I think it, everyone else is playing it, and it's like there's nothing else to do. I have never played Fortnite a day in my life. It's not what it used to be, and it's not as fun anymore. Those are supposed to be stairs. I heard the same thing about uh, League of Legends. Go. Fix this up here. More or less just played Fortnite because everyone was playing it. It also didn't help that. I think I was what? I was quite a bit younger when Fortnite came out. Just a wee little lad. Just a wee little lad. Technically, my age has doubled since I put, like started playing Fortnite. Ooh, that's weird. The perk of being young. Time feels strange. Boss does have a good point. The new world gen, those noodle caves are so annoying. Hmm. I hate lighting those things up. Okay, there we go. Hollow barrel. And then I was actually thinking about adding some lighting. Wait, go ahead and use Boss's favorite frog light here. Just because I haven't integrated them into the build. Outrageous. Have you not used frog lights in the build? No, I have. I haven't used the purple ones. Yeah, uh -huh. I, got, I got the green and the yellow, but not the purple. So there you go, Boss. It's just for you. All right, what do we think, chat? Do we like the dark oak barrel with the spruce trap doors, or do we like the all spruce barrel? 
And I'll probably go ahead and lift it up one. Put it on some sort of stance. It doesn't seem fitting for it to... to be used. Back when fork knife was really fun. Yes. <laughs> fork knife. And the, uh... The marshmallow event. God, that was fucking... Oh, language, sorry. Oh, whoa, no, demonetization. Whoa. Oh. It's alright, we're 60, 80 minutes in and it, you won't get demonetized for it. You're all good. I do like the Dark Oak one, to be fair. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I think it actually goes in better with the look. And then this would actually be a good spot to put the entrance to the super smelter. As I could... Mm pipe it out here just have like an open barrel which is your entrance into the super smelter well it's just open it up here and then these could be like chests or something like that and then that's where um uh, that's where i can put in the input and output barrels what you gotta do is just run up open up a trap door and then all your items in there yeah we'll do that fair enough all oh, we got a divide in the chat now. We're, we're all divided now. I mean, what if I, uh, I'm gonna say I could do like a combination of the two, but that might look a little weird. Hmm. I don't think we have the scale here for a doing mixture. that kind of variation. We'll we'll let that sit for a little bit. Let's work on. We'll come back to that. Yeah, we'll put that on hold. We'll put pin in that. Let's go on to the next thing that I'm procrastinating. That is the floor design. This was such a pain for me to do. But essentially what I did on the other ones is I just took the area and I made it all one color. Which I think I can just set like that. And then I just mapped out the centers. Oh yeah, boss. Uh, perfect this year in chat. When we were laying out this area, you recommended I do this on eight wide stairs. And that's, I didn't think about it at the time, but that set me up to where I don't have a center line of my stairs. And I don't feel like moving my entire wall. So now I'm stuck with the challenge here of trying to do a mosaic floor with an even number on this end. <clears throat> you know, that is a good, a good idea, Splash. Before we get too far into that, let's go ahead and clear the effect. So you just not be able to see either of them. It doesn't yeah, matter. Maybe I do need to take the... I don't like the lighting, though. Actually, here, this will be the greatest... Yeah, we, we need more lighting around here. <laughs> this would be I a problem. I'm, I'm wee bit behind what you're saying and what you're seeing. So... We definitely need to do a little bit better mob proofing. And I think what I could do is that just add in... Little bits of rows of lights here. Like mm. this. I mean, see, that's the problem that I have is that I like the super dark natural effect area. There's little light candles in places. Yeah. Like on like the um on the railings and stuff. That's a great Especially idea. Especially for the upper layers, put like candles on the railings. Now and again, just to give it a bit of light, That's a great and still, idea. still look more natural than really light with a carpet. It might work. I mean, it's so annoying to do <laughs> in the game. Mm. Oh yeah, in the game because you're gonna have to be crouched and willing. Then you have to light them and the. Uh... Such hassle. You have to look at them for an extra five seconds. Yes. And like you could add a bit of variety. You don't have to do all. Yeah. Like I say, you don't have to do all three or four. You could do just mm -hmm. like maybe one. You just have one candle. Well, and then yeah. Uh, I always like to make to where some are lit and some aren't. Hmm. You might have like a four pack that are lit. I actually think I should do those. That extends me out a little bit. Say, let's do another four pack here. As far as that gave me. Oh, so close. So close. Actually, um, we might be able to avoid this altogether. 
because on this level I did lighting in on the back row and I just remembered I haven't done that here so let's yeah. go ahead and do that that could be a like far that. better solution than putting in all of these candles or I mean I definitely will still put them in because they're a cool decorative touch mm. just little clumps of candles in places yeah and they, they will literally be more decorative I mean that should yeah that solved the issue completely Although I put them on the wrong level. Wrong spot. Oh no, wrong spot. And we'll yeah, swap this out to the replace tool. Pieces instead of actually using them for light. I think that's why I want to do this live, because everybody has great ideas. And then I'll never use them in my own builds. <laughs> Has great ideas. Never uses them in building by himself. Has one great idea, to be fair. <laughs> Candy. Sometimes that's all you need. Exactly. Right. How do we have a great idea? Learn from time. And then we can actually use the candles or over here. So we could have these in here, but then I will concentrate the lit candles more. Oh, no, we don't want to do the replace function anymore. Don't need to replace a chest, no. Yeah, I think this will work out great. Exactly. Yeah, you could use the candles to light all them bits, yeah. Here we go. Now we get that cool variation in here. While still looking cosmetically pleasing. Oh yeah. Then we get that cool lighting effect where you get to see a little bit of the, the roof illuminated. It's not completely dark. That's what we're doing right there. I need to... Yeah, I forget Axiom, you can literally just right click on them. That's what I love about Axiom is this little tinker button right here makes it so much easier. You just right click on them. I don't have to use a shovel. don't have to use a, a uh, flint and steel. I can just right click. Still has to use it on the survival world. Yeah, but then it's a little bit easier, I think. I just oh, wait. Boss, boss is the owner. Boss, I'm starting a petition. <laughs> Shot down. We need to we need to add add it so when you get rid of when we need to add ashless campfires. I think that's client side. I know it is, but you can add a server resource back with it. I mean, that's one of those things that I still really think should be in Mojang, and that's kind of our uh, ideology with adding mods and stuff to the game is that the stuff that should be in the game anyways that they haven't added. Do that with candles. Keep forgetting. Okay. Uh, can I do that with candles. What do you mean? Confuse, confuse .com. All right. Now let's pull up the, the mini HUD here. these oh don't want to be replacing what do you mean can i do that with candles this is all about the ashless thing i don't know we'll find out when the stream oh catches. i think i think he means the the right click probably like that oh, I like that oh right click with the tinker asking or telling 
<laughs> yeah, is he, are you ask, I think he's asking if you can do it. Like tinker on the ca do the tinker for candles. Enters chat. Welcome to chat, Death. Hello, hello, hello. I I'm in the Discord if you want to talk as well as type. I'm not much of a proficient typer, so I always prefer to just talk to somebody because I have the vocabulary and spelling abilities of a fifth grader. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting some stuff done today. More I look at it. You know what? Let's let's do going back to the barrels thing. Let's take this one step further. Let's try doing an all dark oak. Maybe that's that's the selling feature that I need. Hello. Hey, welcome in, Death. I, I've been watching for the past hour a bit while I was eating and stuff. This is the first ah, time okay. I've had to actually sit down. <laughs> Thanks for not joining and going. Oh, <laughs> 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 Monster you know, Chewing in the background. Yeah, I can't say I never would because I probably would. I'm, I'm really liking the build so far. Ah, thank you. So I was actually just telling the audience a little bit ago that uh, I'm going to have to ask for your forgiveness now because I can oh. or I can already feel your judgment, all right? Oh boy, yes, I've been watching and I've been taking notes. Yeah, the, of, the uh, decorative hoppers. So. It's, it's fine, it's not as if you just 10,000 of them. You say that now, yeah. but this is just a you storage room. <laughs> We're establishing a theme. Oh boy. Yep. I'm gonna come uh, in one day, he's gonna have him replaced with something else, but like, this is what you should have done. <laughs> but with Fun. um the changes they're making soon, um technically speaking it should be okay. Oh okay. So they're, they're changing the hmm. way hoppers behave. Are they? Anyway, Death, yeah, if so... you've been if you've been here for an hour, you you would have heard of the uh let's fill this man's storage room with sand and gravel. I did hear that, yes. Um Chubby. I will not. I will not be providing the sand or gravel for that. Damn it! <laughs> we'll have to set up one myself. I'm gonna have to learn how to do it myself, or just mm -hmm. steal the sand and gravel, and you wouldn't notice. But no, the, the, oh, what they're doing with um, the hoppers is, you know how um, we put composters on top of them yep. to reduce the lag. Mm -hmm. um, well, basically, and one point twenty one, but one twenty one even. Like as long as you have like a solid block about. It, so like stone or dirt or whatever, mm -hmm. it'll actually stop that check from happening. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Does it have to no. be a, a full block then? Or can like a slab or a campfire work? I'm not actually sure. I'd have to test it. Because like I have trap doors above this one. Oh. More science will be required. Yeah, and more to answer testing the science. Splash's question in chat, yes, so hoppers do still attempt to pull more stuff. Hmm. Hey, welcome in, Techno. So many wonderful people. One little dark spot here. How can we mitigate one little dark spot? Oh, uh, in the mosaic floor. Fix it with the mosaic. Put one at the top of the landing or something. Or whatever I end up doing down there copy and paste it up here i'm just procrastinating doing this not work hmm. honestly i'm that was so mentally taxing to do i don't have the, the mental capacity to do not work all the time let alone live but you know what we could try my, i've my, just missed my the block in my gradient and now it's um annoying me i need to re-add it across bits i've missed hmm. which to fair isn't that much of it so it's not like it's the end of the world and it's better I noticed it now than in three hours. Or upon the final product. Mm. Uh, you were missing a trap door on that chandelier next to the campfire. Was I really? Oh, you've challenged him now, whoever said that. Gonna find it. Go on the chandelier next to the campfire. I thought I got all the way around. I'm only doing the outside, not the inside. 
goes all the way around. Yeah, Luke's cleaning that one. And then it was just copy and pasted on all these, unless I broke one. Oh, there it is. I didn't highlight a big enough area. Eagle eyes. Yep, I just didn't make a big enough selection area. Ah. Found it. And that's why he's the boss. More candles in here. Oh, good thing I have a bee farm. All these candles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if you don't know, um, I also have a lot of bees wax. So, uh... Hmm. I don't think that that should be a problem. I think I'm covered. Why am I doing the gradient on this wall? This wall's nowhere near finished in terms of detail and anything like I start the gradient. I don't know. It's because oh, it's because I was doing this wall and they are connected. That's why. Oh, I think we need to get the night vision back on here. I'm not doing a good, good enough job lighting it up. No, oh, I keep accidentally loading that up. It's taking two hundred years. There we go. Now everybody can see what's going on. See me struggle to place candles for a little bit. Then we'll tackle that mosaic. I don't need this open. Oh, Jesus. Cheese and crackers? What? I don't know. But that's what you're going for. Jesus. Yeah, cheese and crackers. Okay. I'm not going to question <laughs> Some silly American ad campaign or something. I don't know. Probably. Oh, Tame. Um, yes, you know how I, I, I've yes. been. Um, you know how I have that surface build I plan on doing? Yes. I was meant to be working on it all this week. Mm -hmm. I only just broke ground on it today. But you have started it. Yes, I have. Um, I'm, I'm kind of working on the kind of central feature to it, which is um, basically a, a label for it. Okay. So I've got my alien language set up. Nice. And I'll, I'll show it to you later on after the stream. Okay. But yeah, I've decided to sit today and learn Axiom properly. So that I can actually build the whole structure. Hmm. I've been picking ah. up little bits as I go. Yeah, I thought I'd do the same, but because of what I'm, all the stuff I have, I'm like probably better off just sitting down one day and just try to learn as much of it in one sitting as I can. Hmm. I might have to install Axiom and start using it before I actually start doing other mega projects. And it might also make doing my gradient a bit easier, so I might install it when I come off. Well, before I come off and then start learning it tomorrow. Would definitely recommend it. All right, so this is how I did my mosaic floor last time. I just used wool. Mark out our center here. And Good then I morning, just started. Ladies. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> just getting ready to start doing some mosaic work. More of it. So I think I'm going to try to do more of this style shape. What I can. Maybe we can make it more interesting. I gotta be really careful with these shapes now. <laughs> Don't want to be making uh, anything that might get me cancelled. So we gotta <laughs> we gotta be careful with these. Yeah. A particular uh, square-like symbol. <laughs> it, it, yes with some hard right degree angles. We're, we're going to avoid <laughs> avoid any of some those. Good amount of 90 degree angles. <laughs> yes. How is this going to look? Hmm. Let's see here. So before we get too far into that shape, this one I actually kind of copied from something I found online. This one was more, I just organically did it and I feel like Technically, 
this should be matching the center aisle way since it is kind of visually along the same line uh oh we got zame that was making making naughty stuff on autocraft at one point <laughs> <laughs> yes so i it looks like i did just did some squares Hopefully, if I make it out of different color wool, it won't be as obvious if I do it without noticing. Let's try this here. Oh. Make it all even for now. to change some blocks we'd we'd be uh in a little bit of trouble here so uh i guess now it makes sense to go yeah that is a problem with patterns agreed or if we went like this and then once we'll have to end up having to change the block colors but I, I do it this way so that way i can get the over under effect that's actually one of the hardest things to try to figure out is which one needs to go over mm -hmm. and then which one needs to go under. So that'd be un over, under. Technically, that should be over. It'd be under. All right. This need to go over. Got. Hmm. Maybe I don't like that. Yes, 100%. Uh, we will be here for seven more hours still working on this mosaic. But that's that's how it works someday. You can't rush perfection. Okay, I kind of... I actually kind of like what we have going on here. If we were to take that and just... This. I know I could be using Axiom right now. That and it should transition to orange. Orange goes over under over that technically have start of it and instead of making it into four quadrants maybe since we're we'll just use this as the center and just like book match it across left and right instead of turning into four different quadrants we'll just do it that way i think that'll be the smartest way to go about this now, maybe if we like this, so this does. I'm liking this. <laughs> 20 euro priority fee. <laughs> what happens if I ignore the center and just continue your pattern from the other center corridor? So you're just maybe saying just double it up here maybe i i can't do it on that side well here let's um use axiom here do the clone tool here we'll go from center point say here here Just intersect it in the middle. Uh, I think because it's such a long rectangular shape, it looked weird. Ten and ten would see this in a yeah, a hundred percent. All these bright, bright colors would be something you'd see in ch inside of a children's hospital. All right, let's get the over unders. I think that this should be over. Makes sense in my mind. And. This one over. Wait, no, I did that wrong. Over there, under there. Which means that this needs to be over and under there. <coughs> over on the cyan. There we go. Okay. 
I can work with that. Let's get another color. Do this again. Grab the whole rectangle from the completed floor and just pull that over. The whole rectangle, as in like this whole section, you pull it over. Oh, she's confusing me. So confused. We'll just keep working with the shape in the meantime. We'll go oh, oh, over. I, I just I just realized I, I never asked this, but uh, this story room it's a fair size. Uh, what do you plan on storing in here? Uh everything. So I will move out of my starter base because that was a starter storage room. And then mm -hmm. this will actually become my main center of operations. This will be the capital in my world building thing. I think I've decided that I'm just gonna use this entire area here on the map and do my own custom world. So basically oh, yeah, okay. stretching from here to maybe here all the way down and around. We'll just claim it all and then make my own little Nordic style adventure map thing all based out of this as a capital. And for the fun of it, you could put my entire starter base in there. Yeah, I mean, not the size it matters it's how you use it <laughs> i mean to fair my starter base is taller than that so it would it would uh stick out of the roof but we'll ignore it all right so the fact that they use not lining up i think it's just me nitpicking i have just installed axiom so that's gonna be fun nice i'm gonna learn how to use that tomorrow do this so i stop throwing myself off okay nice now i think what i want to do now is actually take some black wool and try to do some sort of uh like weave design mm -hmm. that's gonna go kind of like this somehow that went over so this should be under over like this kind of what i'm thinking i think that'll be a good order but actually since it is symmetrical let's go ahead and fix that hopefully with axiom once i learn how to do it it will make planning my uh, starter base a bit quicker especially the gradient of course i'll still do quite a lot of it by hand because yeah because yeah because <laughs> yeah i couldn't agree anymore Exactly. I think the the feature I'm most interested in for Axiom is the auto shade feature they have. Uh, Which so one? You, auto shade. So basically, you think that the general idea is you select it, you get your selection, and then you know um you know what ambient occlusion is. No. So in in games and uh, 3D modeling and stuff, ambient occlusion is basically the idea of calculating the lighting value for different things all over your model. So for example, if you have two surfaces that come and meet and then you have like a, not necessarily a seam, but um, oh, what's the word here? Let's just say you, you place two blocks next to each other on a corner. Okay. That line in the corner, that it calculates the lighting for that. So mm -hmm. it, it automatically shades everything for you. And huh. um, Axiom has that built in. So really? I know, I know um, that, that super famous tutorial you made time about your, your custom terraforming job oh did a while back. <laughs> yeah yeah it, it basically did half of that automatically uh oh <laughs> huh. so yeah um, I'm, I'm looking forward to using that okay all right i think there needs to be some well, you... more in the middle if you do figure out how it works maybe uh <clears throat> teach the rest of us <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think outside of something in the middle here. Mm. Something like 
like that. I don't know. I think we're about ready to start playing around with changing block colors. That was relatively painless. So is the two two block center? Yeah, because the stairs are eight wide, and I don't feel like yeah. trying to redo this entire roof line, moving the wall in one. Why not? <laughs> because I just don't want it, because we were laying out the shapes last night, and I just think it would be more work than what it's worth than to just do a two wide center. Besides, let's push yeah. the limit. Let's challenge ourselves to break the norm and build on a two wide center. There we go. <laughs> That's... That's the real reason. We're we're being uh, journeymen in the, the path of Minecraft here. Not all just made a calculation. Wait, I just realized that you actually textured the walls and roof and whatnot. Yeah, I've been, I've been pretty busy. We're outside of the floors. I think we are essentially ready to go. I didn't bother to do anything on the roof because when you turn off the night vision effect, it all, all goes dark and you can't see it anyway, so... Mm. Once we get these mm. floors done, we're ready to grab a schematic. And since this is the upper floor, I might just leave this as is. I don't think it needs to be nearly as decorative. Mm. I think I might do some sort of banner or something here. Oh, yeah. To, just to fill the voids and then... I can't decide on these barrels, which I really like the idea of using them for super smelter. Then I'll probably do some. banners. I I do really like the idea of just being able to run up here, putting my items in the chest, and then it'll go into the super smelter. Which death I might need some assistance there with a the super smelter design. I have limited room, only from backside of that wall to outside here, and I want to do a 128 furnace array. Oh. All right. A super Ambitious. duper smelter. I want to put a shulker box unloader in there to where I could just put a shulker box of glass or sand in there. You know, two or three of them in there. Although I did consider this the style where you just drop them on the floor and you just open up the trap door. That style. Mm -hmm. So we'll see where we get, but that's the idea. I mean, I guess there's nothing saying that I can't do that right here where you stand here, throw your blocks in, and then just auto inputs them yeah but we're gonna stay focused here back to the mosaic <laughs> so with these ones i did the primary shapes out of basalt let's grab my main colors i did white was tough we can actually do some world edit here this easy way And then this will probably maybe I'll put some sort of a fancy border. Actually, it'd probably make the most sense to nope, not do that. Just go ahead and finish finish this out with a border that follows the other ones. And that can kind of fall in the background. Well, you don't need to put a comma. Huh. Fair enough. No. No, when you replace the white wall with tough, you didn't put a comma. Uh, you just put space. No, I but uh, Boss just informed me on Thursday that if I wanted to say also do the orange wall as well, you can actually do it that way. You can select multiple blocks to be replaced with the same one. You don't have to do each one individually. Yeah, I, I, I can do that. I know how to do that because I just do a comma. But mm -hmm. I didn't know you could just do it without a comma when you're just replacing one. Mm. Oh. I've always put comma then space. I don't know why. Mm. Yeah, the comma, nor comma normally just differentiates between uh, different blocks, I guess. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It must. The, the proper I, name I, I must. Is. I must have done it. And like, spelt somewhat wrong, but thought it was a comma, and needed to put a comma there, so I put a comma there after correcting the spelling anyway. Hmm. 
And now that instinctively I just put a comma. I mean, if it doesn't break anything, then... Oh no, it works perfectly fine, so... Yeah. This man's already planning his mega base, I ain't even finished my starter base yet, what the hell. <laughs> I mean, it could be the same thing. <laughs> well, I'm, still, I'm still working on my starter base, so... <laughs> well, technically... Base, it's only 200,000 blocks, it can't be a mega base, it's not big enough, clearly. <laughs> It's just not. Mega I have base no has idea how, how much Clearly, speed. 2 million plus mega base, clearly. You've got to spend an entire year building that for it to count as mega base. <laughs> Is that the justification here? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I've almost spent a year planning it. <laughs> I've not. I've only spent. Only spent like four months planning it. I thought I'd have had it done, planned in two months, and then built by now and uploaded. But no. No. Yeah, Life see that has never holds up. Life is like, how yeah, about now? Nah. You got other stuff to do, and then you're gonna, you're gonna want to play. It. You're gonna finish doing all of that. Then you're gonna get back, and you're gonna be able to do it. And then you're gonna experience some hella burnout, and you're like, I, can't, I just can't. So you go play different games. And then you come back, and then you want to redo the entire gradient. I know what you mean. I got several projects that are sitting there on the back burner. Anything over a yeah. hundred thousand block. I think that's a good, good way of differentiating it. Yeah, it doesn't help that my starter base is going is a hundred and what sixty, hundred and ninety already. Hundred like k, not no, hundred ninety blocks. It's not a very big base. It's barely a room. Uh, but yeah, no, this is the biggest project I've ever done. And I'm doing it in survival. It's like first actual survival base that I'm properly doing on Java, and it's over a hundred thousand blocks. It's stupid. I mean, go big or go home, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's your fault, time. It's your fault. I'm you almost spent... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> almost but it sorry. will be. It will look cool in the end. Exactly. It's, it's fine. I'm Every time gonna... I feel like I'm close to finishing it, I'm like, nah, I've learned something new. I want to put that there instead and do that and change all of that. I'm going to be back in like 15 or 20 minutes. I'm on. We have some okay. guests over, so I'm going to go eat some dessert <laughs> with them. I'll allow I'm going to be right back. Oh, thank you. It's thank a, you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be yeah, back. I, I am going to have to leave soon because I've got work. All right. Everybody's just going to ditch me. It's cool. It's, okay. uh, it's fine. It's all good. I will leave. <laughs> Just keep streaming yeah. for like four more hours, and I'll join when I get back. It's fine. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. I'll just be in the Discord or whatever. But yeah. If you're on, I'll join for an hour. If you're not on, I'm going to bed. Okay. Or I might be a dumbass and stay up until four in the morning trying to learn how to use like my uh, not like my go um, axiom. There, I mean, there's that. There is that. It's not like I have to get up tomorrow morning. There's nothing I'm doing. Uh, Wait a minute. Something's messed up here. Hmm. What, what have I done? What have you done? Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, I wanted the floor to stand out. Alex is just, uh, it's supposed to be, you know, kind of eye-catching. The whole rest of this thing is just all darker gray tones. So, the the wool's not staying. The, these will all be, it'll be more like this, so. Don't, uh, don't think that I'll going to be leaving it as wool. Bright I, neon green and yeah, cyan. Yeah, I'm just, just using those as placeholders at the moment. I actually think that I'm going to do perfect here. Way to hide some light sources. This should be polished deep slates. I, I understand I could probably just flip these with Axiom, but... Sometimes you just gotta struggle through doing it by hand. Exactly. Until you realize action. 
but whatever. I do an orange as wool, which will end up being lights underneath them. What block do we have left? Mud? Yeah, let's make the mud continue the light blue. We'd have those few colors left. What do I have left? Pink. I'm gonna keep this tough. What do, we, what do we do my last one in? Oh, not that one. Blocks have I not used yet? I'm running out of blocks. Ugh. Hmm. Mm. Ran out of colors. Oh, I love the fact that you can just control Z to undo rather than have to type in commands. Ah, so nice. So, so handy. Uh, have, have you also decided to do some light math? Uh, why do I keep axiom schematics? Schematic. Oh god, shenanigans. Yeah, god. I'm, I'm just playing about in a creative world, just messing about with the settings, just seeing what yeah. I can do before I actually try and apply it to a build. Hmm. That's what I'll end up doing. It oh. should make planning larger projects a bit easier. It's just mainly what I'm going to use it for. It's just so I can be able to do gradients a bit easier in all sorts. I smooth basalt instead of upright basalt. We can try it. Not a hard thing to change. Hmm. reason why I didn't want it because I liked the little bit more of the established corners I think it added a bit of variation and I think the smooth result was too gray concrete I don't know you feel like you need something else right here can't use any of those ones I can. Yeah. There we go. Tied together. <laughs> we'll call it good. It's not the most clear mosaic. It's not like this one where you're like, oh yeah, I can clearly trace these lines. There is a little bit of weird blocks butting up against each other, but I think it sells the idea of it. Hmm. Now we can just go this here place i believe it was orange wool i think i did burn it nope i did okay okay because you know this matters to me better and oh, then we gotta do the green as well Ugh, i've just realized that I, I i'm meant to be uploading three times this month i should probably actually no i no i've already got three videos planned for this month it's all good i'm good okay of course cool. thinking out loud <laughs> now let's mess around with some banner designs they'll mostly just be placeholders and i think cyan and light blue will be color idea behind here. What I should be doing is actually doing uh, wool behind it. Place all facing up, smooth basalt, see it all at once. All right, I will. I will entertain the idea, boss. You haven't led me astray before, so we'll try it for science, something for like that. Science. Uh, 
that would be axis Y, I believe. Oh, do facing. Nope, it wants axis. <sighs> Too smooth. <sighs> no, it's not liking this Ugh. command. A space or something in here. I think there's still an argument in it. Let's see, it doesn't like the state formats. Axis Y doesn't like it. Hmm. All right, we'll uh, play with that later. Let's think of a quick little banner design here. I think something like that, maybe. And this one down. Ugh. I think that's a good size. And then I think black, black banners here at the top. You had an extra space, I think. No, no, it wasn't that. Here. Stay right there. T. Sure. So that's a placeholder for now. The idea is there. Yeah. T for time. Huh. Which actually, I had a recommendation. I believe it was from Dark Bat. That the idea, the name that I was I was really liking was Yorban Gunder for the deity here, and I didn't want to go exactly copying it. Which, by the way, I apologize if I butcher the pronunciation of it. I not Yorban fluent. Gunder. Yeah, pretty sure you pronounce the J as a Y in it. Yeah, it's but it's uh, for you. instead of going with the classic right. name of it, which Danish. oh, it's. Line is uh, Danish, and of course it's not here when we need him to pronounce something right, Scandinavian. Exactly. So per actual mythology, it was a serpent that was Jormung Jormungandr, and he actually recommended that I just swap it out to Tormungandr, because it's, you know, a T-Rex skull. So T, T for time, Tormungandr. Mm. I don't know, I'll play around with it for a while. And then I liked the idea of calling this area of the map the Fangs, and I think Splash is you had a recommendation for something's rest. I think that'd be a good name for like a part of the town. And somebody else had a good name, and I was thinking about using it for the name of the palace up above. Yeah, T for time. Which you guys are ready for a little fun fact side story here. My original Minecraft username was Too Tall. Because, you know, I'm six and a, almost six and a half feet tall. So I, I used the name <laughs> Too Tall. So everything had a TT in it. Or Too Tall. A little fun fact about time for you. But then I was very happy to settle down for Time Architect. All right. Six, six and a half feet. So that would be about six foot six. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, technically huh? six foot five. But that was also a couple years ago when I got measured. I might be 6'4 now. I don't know. You know, yes. stuff compresses when you get older. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. that reminds me. I need to do, I need to border out. It's up here. It can't be done yet. These all technically need to be some sort of tile deep slate variety. Probably not going to add in the cracked versions of it. But we'll go ahead and use the replace tool here shortly. There we go. I was thinking that those needed a little something else. Let's go ahead and turn place block back on. Do that. I did. Okay. Oh, and thanks for hanging out. 
I, I know that uh, the editing grind, so appreciate you hanging out for as long as you did. Best of luck. <sighs> Start streaming two hours ago. Good, good, good. All right. Focus time. Ah, oh, so with the replace tool, do you just like place and it does it you don't have to break it or anything nope you just hold right click oh that that would make it a little bit easier to do yep you don't and have to you... do the left right click trick hmm I, I don't know can you like with axiom because do you know how you can do the terrain when you're flying around you can also do that for like replacing as well can't you like get a brush and replace a certain amount of something oh I'm sure, there's, like... I'm sure there's a way to do it This, right. it, even doing it like this will still be quicker than using breaking it all by hand and mm -hmm. doing the little press both at the same time trick. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Alrighty. Much better. Alright. I think I'm going to go with the dark oak barrel. That just seems like too much of the same tone, so. And then I think I will do what boss recommended pushing this one back. So as soon as I finish bordering this out, oops, turn this back on. Oop. Okay, I've got a bit of an idea for this structure, so I'm actually balding them finally. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it's so hot. It's, this is so outside my comfort zone, man. <laughs> it really is. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with it. <laughs> oh, man. these we'll see what else I have left to do oh, yeah, good place the barrels here so let's start by moving easier just do by hand here Oh yeah, I wanted to move them up one. They weren't sitting on the ground. Hmm. I didn't really like the supports that I had earlier. Oh, so many, so many choices to make. I guess I really want to make sure that these don't look like sewer pipes. Is is that are those meant to be like massive like beer cakes? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the idea behind it. At least the effect I was going for. See yeah, that that that's where you should do like a little map art thing, or like whatever the brewery made that, and they stick hmm. it on each barrel. <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is a Times Vintage um, ale, right. it's a 14 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Have uh, people come over and do a, a random tasting, maybe retexture some uh, some honey bottles or something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a neat little world building thing, I suppose. Yeah. 
And that's kind of what I think I'm transitioning into from instead of just building randomly, I think I'm starting to lean more towards actual world building. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be too big compared to that. Yes. Flash is on the, the struggle boat with arrows. Rip. Yeah, I was on a, on the server earlier on, helped Splash get out to her area. It's a, hmm. it's a fair, it's a fair distance away. Well, from like 42,000 blocks away, something like yeah. that. Ooh, that's a hop, skip and a jump. Okay, there's our barrels. We'll let them stay for now. I'm not sold. You said it makes my 16,000 blocks away look like a brisk, brisk stroll. Right? <laughs> Making the need for a piston bolts increase. You know, maybe two or three years ago I would have agreed with you. The piston bolts are actually like insanely slow now. Are they? Oh, compared to blue ice paths, yes. I thought that they were like far superior. Uh, they used to be because technically, they, they, I suppose because you don't need to do anything. They are. Hmm. Um, but it's like twenty blocks per second on a piston bolt. Blue ice is more like forty. Really? Yeah. Huh. Isn't it uh, though? If you do a piston bolt on a diagonal, they're faster. Uh, yes. Yes. Harder to bolt as well. <laughs> hmm. And you can't do blue ice on the diagonal. Well, you can, it's just... It's, it's, it's so hard. Death. Yeah. Yeah. So hard to maintain on that path. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm, I think I am actually pretty happy with this so far. Should, should I do, instead of having tough block here, Tough blocks here. I think I should swap this out to the deep slates, the cobbled, and regular. This seems very light gray, and I think it will take away from the center bit. Oh, let's try it. It's definitely going to make that really nice pattern that I made blend in more. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Let's see what happens. Okay, I did 60. I want to do cobble deep slate more. That splash is actually correcting me there. Um, blue ice is significantly faster than I thought. <laughs> huh. Obviously, the thing you've got to worry about with blue ice is how expensive it is. So true. Because one block of blue ice is 81 regular ice. Ridiculous. So Ridiculous. Alright, what does that do to our floor? It definitely lose the corner bits, and that's something where I think I may actually take boss's recommendation here. Placing actually let's just do this with full edit so I can undo it. Um no. We are doing this by hand. This is perfect music for what I'm doing right now. It's like, hear my brain ticking. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, I like that that better. Maybe I will integrate that into the whole thing so it doesn't seem like such a stark difference. I think we can do that. And then this, I won't feel as bad about not finishing out this upper section mm -hmm. if more of this is that same effect. I didn't use any cobble deep slate in the pattern, right? Doesn't look like it. Okay. There's a YOLO in here. We're doing it. Woo! I am back. Welcome back. Thank you. 
Okay. Now I just need to get that command figured out to actually transition. You got any ideas there, Death? A world edit command to transition the the uh basically I want to replace the upward facing basalt into smooth basalt. Hold on, let me um let me test something though. Let's see. Right. So Lon, Lon, regular Lon. basalt into smooth basalt but it's got to be like facing up. Lon, you're you're Scandinavian. How do you pronounce your Mangonda? Pronounce what? Your Mangonda. I don't even know what that is. The world serpent from Norse mythology. Go on. Uh, uh, no clue. Oh no. Useful. I have no idea. I will send you how it's spelt, roughly. Alright. We'll, then we'll go from there. Alright. You play. Okay, I, may, <laughs> I may have a command for you, just let me test it again. I'm going to try this one that boss is recommending. Uh... Yeah, that was legit the one I just tested actually. Boss is one you want. Okay. I think it's because I didn't do a space or something. Maybe I didn't even put in the smooth. Maybe that was my problem. I was trying to tell replace basalt with basalt. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> oh, God. No. None of that makes sense in Danish. Great. Like that, like little uh, those two dots. I know at least in German they're called called umlau, which we don't have those. And yeah, yeah, doesn't make sense to me. And you won't see like a D and R, like a D and an R, like next to each other without any like. Yeah. Uh, thing after <laughs> you can't end like that <laughs> in danish <laughs> i have no, no idea it's not that's not possible <laughs> right right okay right don't worry you're in luck am There's i two other spellings for it there perfect i think would any of okay. would, do, do any of the other two make sense in, da in danish the first one kind of I mean, I got no clue how to pronounce it correctly, but like, I mean, at least it looks like something that kind of could be a word. It's a name. <laughs> yeah, well, names looks like something sense. that could at least be a name. Hmm. To be fair, names never make sense in any language, really. The mud in looks of, like, too dark now. Well, I need something that's dark. I ran out of blocks. I don't want to do deep slate stone bricks because I already have them in the walls. There's already quite a bit of the regular polish deep slate in the walls, so. I don't really want to go lighter. Huh? I don't know, it's like the spelling that I sent you, like Icelandic thing. It could be. That's the one that's always funky out of the rest of the uh, Scandinavian languages. Like the one with the two different like dots on the O could be like either no Norwegian or Swe Swedish as well. Mm. Probably could Norwegian be. considering most Norse mythology but is Norwegian. Probably. So yeah. All right. Well, I, ju I just know both of them use those dots in their language. Mm. I think right. the tiles are just as dark as the mud. I don't think that's helping me. I actually think the deep play tiles are darker. <clears throat> and I don't think the texture of gray concrete powder would mix well with the rest of these. Right, well, now that uh, mine and lines random rant has finished, you can go back to your regular scheduled programming <laughs> of uh, time building. I can have my stream back. Exactly. I'm gonna let you finish, but I gotta say something first.
And I'm gonna have to put some lights on top of here. Right. Well, I'm probably gonna have to dip. Oh, it's too right. late in the floor. To do All right. So, if any of you are on Discord, want to get back out, join call for an hour. If not, I'll see you at some point tomorrow, probably. Alrighty. All right. Catch you later, on, dudes. In a bit. Mm. Right, so I reckon we should go to his base and steal his horse. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think I could get behind that. Is this about the horse or about the floor? The floor. <laughs> <laughs> the horse. The horse. <laughs> I can get behind that because it's supposed to be more of a detail block so I can get behind that oh wait no I did it in the walls too oops need to only do the floors that, that would have been an oops mm -hmm. there, there's my box I want to do oh. edit command <laughs> Now let's try to run that. Yep. Got that boss, thank you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna stick with that. I actually even considered going as far as these center bits right here, making them into Did I just they're a threat to Jurgen's life? No. What? Oh. Leave the horse. Do not touch the horse. <laughs> the, the horse will remain safe on it. The horse will remain... Okay. I'm gonna have to log back on now as, like, when I get back, aren't I? To see if my horse yeah. is still there. Maybe. Yeah, I think, I, I think you should go to work. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Leave. you can leave now. Yep, yeah. alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I, th I think later on, when I'm a little bit wealthier, I'm gonna replace these center mud with netherite blocks. Because that'll be one, two, three, four, technically four or six. Yeah, I agree, boss. The mud doesn't stand out as much. All right, I think I'm going to take a quick break, use the restroom, and then we will create a schematic and bring it over into the world. So... <laughs> I will be That's unreasonable. Right I won't allow that. <laughs> <laughs> be right back, guys. Uh -uh. I don't know if you left us or the stream, or if we're still talking on the stream. I have no idea. I'll, I'll check. Let me see. Let's just be civilized in the meantime. <laughs> uh, I'm like Okay, dead I can't tired. confirm the stream can hear us. Oh they can? Yes. Oh damn. Well then I'm gonna stop complaining. I'm not tired at all, that was a joke. <laughs> I've just built a massive stone monstrosity and I don't know if I like it or not. That's fine, I can text you it later. Tell you if you like it or not. <laughs> That's fine, what's comes to the worst I'll just delete it and start again. Fine. Oh good. Uh, I'm running on like... I guess a good six hours of sleep, and then I had six tournament matches just in a row, back to back to back to back to back to back. To back. So I'm just uh exhausted. How, how did this? It's, how did it go? It went pretty well, like way better than we expected. To be fair, that's good. So we only had. I am back. Out of, oh, welcome back. Out of the seven maps we could possibly play, 
we only practiced one of them and we only practiced it four times so it's not like we had a whole lot on it either so yeah considering that we played three maps that we didn't practice whatsoever at all went pretty well mm -hmm. got three wins and two losses so see you later boss good. you'll be missed bye boss man's leaving no. Now, now, now things can get crazy. <laughs> uh. Modify this a little bit. Get my zones all properly highlighted. Get there. And I didn't want to do much of this main entrance way. Remember, I wanted to go just enough for the pillow. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I think that's it. Hey. I'm, at, I'm genuinely curious to see how much of this I already have in the world, so. Okay, so you're gonna build this now, or? Uh, at least start grinding resources for it. Well, okay, so you're like doing it in a few different stages, kind of the entire build, yeah. I assume. Well, I figure okay, I gotta build cool. the storage room before I can start deleting the mountain. Mmm, okay. Good, fair, fair point. Save that. And then... Should be my origin. Screenshot of that. Okay. Yeah, I think we are... Good to go. Now all I gotta do is move this across instances. Well, that I will just you guys back on the pause screen while I open up my other uh, other instance so okay I'm still here guys I I'm not leaving just had to <laughs> launch this instance then I can move the schematic over well my computer melts because it's trying to do too many things at one time oh no <laughs> Apparently I'm a false god and that people need to overthrow the stream. Well, while you're doing that time, I'll take a screenshot of this body of text to show you. Oh. Um, yeah, it's kind of big, so I had to go far away. Uh, yeah, I'll send it to you. Alright. In fact, I'll, I'll just put in one of the, the text chats actually. Okay. Screenshots then, there we go. Oh, no, got a screenshot. Schematics. This folder. Get. All right, there you go. Wrong. I've done this all wrong. Give me one second. No nah, worries. Oh, I like that text. Yes. It does have a meaning. Oh. And it can't it can be translated. Alright. Yeah, that is basically the alphabet I'm using. Um, it's got numbers from 0 to 9. Right? Mm -hmm. um, but the letters, there's only like 24 letters. So certain letters I don't exist. Hmm. Hmm. No, it... Uh, now they should mention it. Now that you mention it, I should probably do some kind of language, like close to like hieroglyphs or whatever. Yeah. But that's the translation of what those um, what that text is. It's it's, it's a Halo reference. Okay, Although so... I don't don't expect anyone to get it. All right, are we? My streaming in on forever now. Yeah, I don't know, are you? Uh, oh, your scene has just changed, and it's black. Okay, looks like we're on forever. Now I just need to actually fly hey. to that location. I'll need to do an ender portal at some point. Is it, is it a long way? It's a little ways, yeah. I think it's somewhere like right up in here. I think for now I'll just go into the the nether and use one of your portals, Steph. 
a little Ooh. bit closer to you. I don't even know where I'm oh, going to put my nether portal, to be honest. I think it makes sense to have it in the palace for my my actual one. But then I mm -hmm. want to have like the, the decorative one. Big boss. So that means you should be... Hey! Flash is on here, too. Nice. I think so this... she's on now? Yep. This one for death? Area. All right, I'm gonna try to look down as to not do spoilers. Ah, uh, it's, it's all good. Don't worry about spoilers. I don't nope. really care. <laughs> We're committed. Committed to this. I don't know how to get out of here. Can I fly straight up? Uh, I jump? Yes. Okay. One click. Uh, wrong way. Everyone close your eyes. Right? <laughs> of course, it's almost night time. Hey, I was smart enough to leave a whole bunch of rockets in my inventory. Hey. Didn't somebody have some sort of portal here in this ice spikes? Uh, I think there is. At least one somewhere, yeah. So I went through it then snuck some packed ice from it one time. He was like somewhere over here. Guess I could have saved myself a little bit more time. I could sleep right now. Looks like splashes just did for me. It's nice to have another sleep. I was just thinking, uh, actual sleep. <laughs> yeah, like in real life. Yeah. There's a push monument. Don't feel obligated to stay if you want to go and sleep. By all means. It's, you know, uh, it's a eight thirty p.m. So probably not. But oh my! Did have a long day. <laughs> That's why I like streaming when I do, so I can try to get more time zones. Yeah, yeah. It worked well. Otherwise, I maybe wouldn't be here, considering how tired I am. Definitely not as close as I thought I was to you, Death, so. I was afraid I was encroaching. But I might actually start my go all the way down to this area here. Hmm. Have to look at it on a generator. I'm pretty sure this dark oak forest is part of the area I want to do. Got to clear it out and build some. Uh, uh, just completely space on the fjords. There we go. Hmm. Build all sorts of fjords around this area. That does sound very weird, like that word in English, because it is like a, I guess, like Norwegian, Scandinavian kind of word. Like we do have the same word in Danish, but it's just like pronounced way differently. <laughs> How's it pronounced in Danish? I mean, not way. It just sounds weird to me. Oh. It's uh, pronounced uh, fjord. Like it, it's it's kind of the same, but uh, yeah, I can tell a big difference. And it could very well be. I'm just putting an accent on it. It could be pronounced fjord. You know, I think it's just because that's like the American way of pronouncing it. I don't think it's just the wrong it, way. <laughs> no, I'm not about saying that. <laughs> it, it, for all I know, it might be an English word that we just adopted, like. Like like every other language, a uh, word in our language. Hmm. Like Danish, at least, is made from like a bit of German, English, and uh, French. It's like oh boy, combining a bunch of different languages, and Latin as well, and Greek, and yeah, that's a bunch. Where is this area? Definitely gonna need to do a portal. This will be not <laughs> conducive to fly every single time I'm trying to move stuff. And now you forgot a stick for Life Matica. I did, but luckily I can just I screenshot it yeah. what the origin is, so I'll just type it in. Huh. Although I see you just mine a tree. This is also like very leaves. True. Not not the biggest deal. Luckily. Where is 
this area. I'm I'm just gonna have to look up coordinates. Give me one second to open up a screenshot here. I'm gonna need it open anyways, so. So I need to go to minus seven thousand. I'm only oh I I need to be at eight thousand in Z. Doesn't seem right. This way. This way. Now we're heading the right way. That is nice. This will at least get me in the ballpark here. I need to be 8,000 in Z and 7,000 in X. Alright, so we're going to take bets on whether time's going to have this finished before my video's finished. <laughs> I'm going to put down 10 bucks. Well, once again, I'm this put... is literally just a storage room. Like, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to break up this base into two parts. I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah. So the storage room and then everything else? <laughs> no, it'll be the area oh. that I've currently designed and then the rest of the mountain. Uh. You know, it's wild right now how appetizing a nap sounds. Even though a nap would be too late. Put 50 on that bet. Put 50 on the bet. <laughs> Go to work. <laughs> I've got 10 minutes, calm down. <laughs> got 10 minutes until I want to leave, it's fine. <laughs> I'll put 50 not, on that bet. Alright. We're not angry, we're just disappointed. Ooh. Don't, also, I don't be hitting course, people so. with that. No, <laughs> <laughs> God, I can hit time like five times. <laughs> but yeah, Fjord is Norwegian in origin. Yeah, okay, I knew. <laughs> I assumed it because they have a bunch of them. Yeah. One of the only words that, well, according to Google at least, one of their only, like, original words that became internationally used. Yeah. That's like the term it's meant to be at least. So Is it with a D at the end then? Is a proper yeah. pronunciation? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you actually do it with a soft D. Fjord. So it's not I will say when it comes to Scandinavian, Finnish is like completely different from anything else. Yeah. Like it's not even remotely close to any other language. A lot more Russian influence on it as well. Yeah, yeah. It's like their own kind of thing. Yeah, like it's got what? Karelian uh, fin uh, Finnish, obviously, like the actual Finns, like the original tribes, uh, Russian, Swedish, Sampi, Sa Sami, Saman, Saman, however you say it, <laughs> something like that. I don't know. It's a, it's a very contested part of the world in terms of uh, people want it for some reason. <laughs> it's just kind of ice. Why would you want it? That's a smart idea, Splash, is to separate your mega storage room from other things. I know death will appreciate the lag reduction on the server. I, I will less chess. And I mean, I'm I'm trying to do my part. I'm not doing a fully redstone operated storage room. It's just going to be laggy from chess. <laughs> it's not chess it's just and blow redstone. Up everyone's computer who doesn't hear mm -hmm. it anyway. It's a little bit of melting. Now I should just be heading straight west now. Should run into it. I think this is the on my right is the tail end of the mountains. Or at least this area should be where the mountains will be finishing. Mm. Okay. Um. There's the mountain I'll be removing right here. So this will be this area right here will be the sea cave. I'll need to remove all of this. 
I love that I have to like remember what you're saying. Wait like ten seconds so I can see it on stream, and then <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of lag there. No, it's just stream delay. And when you yeah. say it in Discord, so yeah. I'll be removing... like fifteen seconds. You're removing this whole mountain here. Which I mean, that's not terrible. It'll no. probably take take me two weeks or so. Then this will be the little cove. And then luckily most of it's actually being built out this way. If I remember right. This is all gonna be included into it, so. So it's that's not... the island that you're removing, or it's not really an island, but most of them, yeah. Yeah, it's this little peninsula here where I'll be removing it. See, that's a cool world word. <laughs> <laughs> peninsula. Alright, let's load a schematic. Storage room. Alright, I'm gonna hop on my crypt perfect. soon now. Oh. Keep opening the wrong instance. Hmm. <laughs> Seven sixty five five by eighty five by eighty two twenty six. Double check seventy six fifty five negative eighty five positive negative eighty two twenty six. All right, so that should be it. Now let's just go from single layer. Oh. Where, where is it? Oh, because I got to turn it on. There it is. So yeah, I mean, as far as actually building it, not really much area that I have to prep. It was kind of worked out really well. Mm -hmm. Honestly, just some trees and stuff. That's that's where's easy. the storage. Oh. Yep, sorry. That's screen lag. Yeah, is that gonna be like its uh actual location? Yeah, this is where it'll be in the world. Okay. So yeah. was, I mean I could leave a lot of this mountain if I wanted to, it's just the inner grinder of me just wants to remove it. I am definitely on the same page there. Sometimes it's easier to just completely level the terrain than to try to run around and light it up. And yeah, also see the maybe same Maybe I'm a masochist a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> See, the same thing kind of applies to me when it comes to my build rate. Like, I could just, you know, build terrain on top of this, like, on top of the desert, but mm -hmm. it's more fun to, like, level the entire thing. <laughs> All right, what do we got for material list? I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that bad. 13 stone. No idea where that 13 stone is, or that, oh, I know where that white wool is. Let's go ahead, write that to file. Give me one second, because I know how other people do things where you can have the little mini HUD material list, but I've already taken up a lot of my screen with a mini map. So what I do is I just create myself a little separate uh, notepad list. Ah, uh, yeah, I converted. Well. Yeah, I converted to a notepad as well. So one second. I save that. All right. So now I, I'll leave that other one open for now. I need a temporary portal. I think I should put it just right here, honestly. So let's go ahead and take. Is there a better spot that I can put this that's more centered? Yeah, I put it on the ice. Yeah, let's just put it on the ice for right now. Right here, screenshot, and I can fly back. I only got 60 levels. It just now nah, going back to spawn would be just as much work. This out of the way. Close this. I got way too many things going on right now. All right. Oh, uh, mini HUD really only works if your builds is of moderate size. True. 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 Back to civilization. Reality. Oops, there goes gravity. <laughs> <laughs> yes? I wish they could find a way to fix this little flying animation in here. This is ridiculous. 
Don't worry, I'm waiting 15 seconds patiently to find out what you're talking about. <laughs> there it is. Now you can see it. It probably. <laughs> I missed it, I think. <laughs> so after all, it wasn't that patiently. So let's see. Your area is right there, Death. So it's really pretty far out. Definitely don't feel like I'm in danger of encroaching on your area at all. Good. I planned on claiming most of this area over here. I just... Well, okay. Well, I just learned something new about my monitors. Apparently there's like USB ports underneath it. Oh. I've had them for five years almost, I think. Oh. And I just learned it. Learn something new every day. You do. I mean, I'm looking at this material list. It's not that bad. 6,700 cobble deep slate is the most used. And 5,800. How many slate. total blocks? Um, I'd have to have to relook at it again. I mean, 6,700, what's that convert to shulker boxes? Three, roughly. Sounds right. 67 divided by... I need to reverse this. 64 times 27. That's 1,700 blocks per shulker box. Hmm. Oh. I have more like four than... 700... 3.8 or something. <laughs> Divided by that would be, yeah, about four. Four shulker boxes. That's rounding up. I always rather have too many than not enough. Yeah. I'm, I'm the kind of guy, I'm like, I take the exact amount. And if I misplace something, well, it sucks to suck. Hmm. I just, uh... Realize that I have to basically do oh, all the, the hard give me a second. Bulk stuff I just done. Yeah, I, I was trying to do like a curve, but I've been doing it freehand. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not a curve. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. It's very blocky. Where are the netherite tools? I personally am not a fan of netherite tools, Luke. For me, it, it's just too much of a heartbreak if I lose them. Granted, most of the time when I die, it'll be in lava, so a netherite would be handy to have. But in the off chance that I die to a dual creeper attack or something like that, like it's so much harder for me to re replace netherite tools. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure I have three different suits of diamond armor currently for replacement sets in my storage room. And you know, maybe someday I will do another i'll probably at least do the armor because it looks cool but the tools the additional durability i can't justify the expense when i could just carry around a shulker of spare tools to answer your your comment there uh -oh. it's a bit of a controversial opinion uh, I haven't heard anything for the past two minutes because my bat called, so... Oh, uh, I was just, uh, I had a comment asking where my netherite tools were. Oh. Hey, you don't want any, or...? I'm not in a rush. I, I already kind of went on oh, okay, a little so bit of a like... tangent about it, so I don't want to re... re uh, well, so you kind of gave me, you know, the tools necessary to get my build started, but I am, I usually do love a good netherite set. Well, now you got the, the tools so would, to go get netherite. Exactly. I would have gone for like I would have gone for that before starting to build normally, but I might not. I might get some building done and then get tired of it and then go hunt for netherite. Honestly. Hmm. Like I already have. I'm pretty sure at least a stack of ancient debris. Like I have enough that I could do it. Ooh. It was something that I I didn't want to do off camera. I gathered it. I'll trade you for four cactuses. <laughs> Better make it. It's three. a steal. 
It's a steal for me, at least. Yeah. The deal of a lifetime right there. But yeah. I am... Gonna have to go for like... An hour, roughly? Alright. Maybe a bit less, but around there. Because, uh... Yeah, I gotta drive my grandma home. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming. We're right about at the three hour mark, so... Can't foresee myself streaming for another hour. I think we might yeah, just fair enough. start collecting up the, the resources and then I'll call it a stream. At least get the nether portal set up. Yeah. Will you be on after the stream or no? Uh, probably later today, and hang out and do a little family time. Ah, uh, sounds boring. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fair. Fair, fair. Well, I'll definitely be back in like an hour or so, if uh, any of you are still alive then. Well, I hope you are, but like, <laughs> in, in the call. In the call. <laughs> I need more. How much obsidian do you need for standard portals? It's 16? Uh, 10, 10 without corners, 14 with corners. Oh, I'm one short. Oh. Oh. I didn't know there <sighs> corners. Shame. Say what? <laughs> Imagine not doing corners in your portals. Shame. Yeah, well, we... You should, okay, that. you should see one of my portals before I go on my, uh... On my other survival world. I was like, experimenting with a data pack. Found it quite funny. So I kept it, but I downloaded a data pack so I could do like more cooler portals mm. for uh, for like you know builds later on, so I could like have like more. It it fit more like generically into like builds and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. Um, without having to do like a massive like squared portal. Yeah. Um And then I had a little fun with it. <laughs> And ended up with like a monstrosity. Oh no. Like a very, very weird one. Let's see if I can get a picture of it real quick or stream or something like that. I built your burns. Alright, uh, so we just had a, a good discussion topic pop up in the chat, and I'd love for your guys' input on it. What right. is everyone's opinion on God Armor? Would that be the armor that has all the different protections on it? I would presume so. The one that you... That one snapshot or something that you could get all protections on it. Oh. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. I forget which snapshot it was. It was like... It, sometime in 1.14 or something like that. That they had that little bug glitch armor. I don't think it you was know, just a snapshot, I think it was one of the full versions of 114 as well. Hmm, it may have I been. I will say, I definitely like having, like, whenever I play, have, like, more... Like, better and better gear, but I just don't think it works in Minecraft as it is right now, because... Whenever I play, like, modded, right, or make mods or whatnot, mm -hmm. I tend to do it the way where... I want the game to progressively get harder and harder, but you also progressively get better and better stuff. You know? Yeah. Which sense. you just don't get in Minecraft right now. So, like, if you keep getting better and better gear and more and more powerful armor and tools and weapons, but there's just, like, the same mediocre bosses you can literally beat with pets. <laughs> I mean, right. it, it, it just comes to a point where, like, for example, hardcore is just, like, it, it's just survival, you know? Yeah. It's not really... Once you get to, like, late game, there's barely any risk to playing the game. You only have to, like, have, like, a major, major fuck-up to die. Oh, careful. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, and then I was also, even thinking about it, and I was like, oh, wait. And then I, also I, with I was the, even thinking about it, yeah. The introduction of that new new weapon that they're doing, the, the mace or whatever, yeah. to be able to one-shot mobs, it's just like, why would you even need... I mean, I guess if, unless you're flying around with totems and you can land on people, then that's when that would offset, but... Me, personally, I 
I think Minecraft is relatively easy, and I think that dying is part of the Minecraft experience. Like, I don't play hardcore, so that's part of the reason why I feel the way I do. But I don't mind dying in Minecraft. It's just a minor setback. If you lose your stuff, you lose yeah. your stuff. That's what why I want to keep villager trading halls as LP as they are is to offset the balance of the gameplay you know a little bit harder yeah I'll send you guys a DM real quick See, the portal the, the topic of that stuff is very touchy yeah agreed Basically, it's a balanced there's a, game there's a lot of people that will let you say it's hardcore creators for example mm -hmm. they will actually go out of the way to downgrade their world so they can go and get that stuff and then they'll go to upgrade again back to the more recent version. I don't think that's ethically a good idea. Nope. I'd yeah, and it, that. again, it depends really, right? Because like, at the end of the day, it depends on how you like to play the game. Because it's like, it's a sandbox game. There's like millions of ways to play it, right? Exactly. <laughs> so like, it depends on what you what you're doing. Like when you play Minecraft, how you like to play. Like when you play survival, like, do you want all these OP items? Do you not like? I for like whenever I play survival, I love to build stuff, but I also want like the game to get like progressively harder and to get like progressively better stuff. So, I mean, I, but I don't want it to be like too easy to get. You know, it, it still has to be a grind, in my opinion. That's like how I like to play the game. Mm -hmm. So that is why I also do like doing like annoying, tedious work for like multiple, multiple hours. Because at the end, at the end of the day, I love like the pay like the payoff, you know. Like when you build something massive or like dig out a massive hole for no reason other than to do it, <laughs> it's like yeah. it's a grind. And I love that aspect of the game. It's Having yeah. like a vision and finally finishing that vision. Minecraft does get pretty easy once you're quote unquote end game. You know, you're fully armored, fully enchanted. Yeah. You got elytras and stuff. So I, I can respect it, you're wanting it to get harder as time moves on to just keep the game interesting in that sense. Me, mm. I, I'm a builder, so a lot of my concentration isn't on trying to just stay alive. It's more so trying to push the boundaries of what I can create in the game. So I technically, mm. I think I'd be a lot better suited for creative stuff, but Boss and I have had this discussion several times where it's more rewarding in the end if you do it in survival. Like you can build yeah. some really cool stuff and creative, but to say I did that in survival is really kind of what takes takes it home for me. Exactly. You have just so many more tools to do it in creative. It's mm -hmm. like way, way harder. Like uncomparably harder to do it in survival. Like I don't want to discredit all of the creative builders out there because they make some absolutely amazing stuff. But you know, I've talked about it with Boss, and it's one of those like, what they make can be made in a week. To do that same thing in survival takes months. Just because of the grind. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I love the fact, like, whenever mods, like, I usually play with like vanilla style mods or something I could see being like a vanilla or kind of vanilla update. Um, but I love when they add like more challenges, better bosses, you know, sometimes better gears or like new enchantments and that kind of stuff. But it's like optional to go get it, right? Mm -hmm. For instance, I do like the whole ancient city kind of vibe because mm -hmm. that is, again, mostly optional if you want to tackle that or not. And there are some certain treasures to it and, you know, stuff you can, you know, choose to try to obtain or not, right? It's yep. like a choice, so exactly that you part of it I do love. To go there. Yeah, and I wish there was a lot more of that, but like progressively harder. So, for instance, once you've beaten the ancient city, I mean, again, if uh, that this has been a discussion uh, a lot as well, but if the middle room should be like the portal to a new dimension, which I think it would be cool if we had more dimensions, in my opinion, I just. <laughs> I just love the expansion of the game, like anything they add, really. I'm all in for it. Um, but yeah, I think it'd be cool if there's like more in like a new boss in there, for instance, and that'll like open up to more possibilities, like harder stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's like 
even if they decide to do that, which they probably won't, it will be many, many, many years down the line. And that's another thing to where the, the modders out there have already made that deeper, darker dimension. And I know yeah. currently on Zetacraft, they're playing with that mod, and it's scary in there. Like, it, mm. Talk about ridiculously difficult. Just walking around in there, you can uh, summon multiple... Uh, whatever they're called. Uh, Wardens. Wardens, that's the one. Like It's so much easier because yeah. the whole thing is just basically area filled with those shriekers and then there's like flying phantoms and like it's crazy <laughs> i suppose uh with me with the god armor and stuff like see if i just kind of general so what, what we do like bowling and stuff like that you're graining through a 500 of our project having it for that situation would be totally fine in my opinion hmm. if you then decided right, i'm going to go and start pvp then that's where i draw the line true yeah I mean, PvP is not even fun more on servers and that kind of stuff because it's like, it takes 90 minutes to kill someone. So anyway, um, I'm a, uh, I'm a uh, hop off for now. I'll be okay. back in like an hour or so. Alrighty, thanks for hanging out. Can't catch you later on, dude. Right. So, uh, I'll see you guys later, hopefully, or. Alrighty. Some other time. Hey, right. catch you later. Bye bye. See ya. Okay, I've cut this out and I still don't like the curve. <laughs> What's that? Ah, uh, this, this ball I'm working on. Uh, because of, of the the nature of The way I'm playing it off is it was originally a lot more kind of square looking. Mm -hmm. But over the eons that it's existed, it's been slowly chipped away at by weather. Okay. So ero erosion's kind of taken effect. So the the, the the topmost surface has been smoothed out and curved quite dramatically. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, the structures that are kind of lower down on the monolith are going to be a lot more intact. Okay. I'm just trying just try to smooth out this curve to the point where it doesn't look too bad. But All I right. think I think I'm just going to stop myself there and just continue on so that I'm at least making progress. I can always change this layer. It's so true. Make it another day's problem. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, that's so what I said in my comfort zone. It's just not <laughs> funny. <laughs> we need deep slate bricks. This is going to take a while. Actually, just use a crafting table, right? A little bit of an extra step. And for those that don't know, we do have a data pack on the server that makes crafting deep slates far more reasonable. Yes. Oh, no, that's not good. Don't do that. I lost my uh, odd numbered thing for some reason. Uh oh. It's off center. Yeah, I, I, I lost the middle. So I forgot to take him for one extra block. Oh, no. Alright, there we go. You know, it's weird though. Uh, so this, this ball is going to be centered on an odd, odd numbered block. Mm -hmm. The ball below is centered on an odd numbered block, but that's, that's centered on top of a slime chunk. Which is an even number. Oh. But you can't really tell. <laughs> unless you look at it a certain way. Hmm. It's one of those where you, the builder, are far more analytical of what it looks like as compared to mm -hmm. somebody who'll just roll by and would never even notice unless yeah. you brought that up. Oh well, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Wouldn't even worry about it. I do think I'm not going to make the same mistake I made before. I'm going to have a circle generator up at all times while I'm working this. <laughs> Just so that it keeps me right. Okay. 
because that wasn't funny. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh, that's, that's something I actually wanted to talk to you about. So you oh. know how your video got 70,000 views out of nowhere, you know? Mm-hmm. Talking with one of my uh, big hardcore creator friends, and I was like, oh yeah, uh, one of my mates had released a video and it got like 70,000 views, it blew up, and I showed him a screenshot of your, your build. Mm-hmm. And, and he goes, hold on a minute, I watched that video. It was recommended oh. to me. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yes. I still can't believe how well that is. Oh my god. I, I l just cannot believe how well that video performed. Hoping you're able to recapture that same, uh, same performance. Hope so. Wait, yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's see. To craft Dark Prismarine, I need the shards. Okay. Off to the Guardian Farm. I'm pretty sure I already crafted all this. Yeah, crafted more blocks. Okay. Might need to do a 30 second AFK session to get all these shards I need. <laughs> oh, I do appreciate that, Splashes. I tried to make it as engaging as possible. That's something that I'm really trying to focus more my content is would I watch it? That's why I've been asking myself as I'm editing. Because I typically, as a rule of thumb, is that when I'm at the, the finishing stage of it, I will watch the video completely through minimum three times. And if after those three times I'm still like, yeah, I'm happy with the flow of this, then I'll keep it. If there's something I'm like, oh man, I really just annoyed senseless by this line and I'll change it. Yeah, I don't even have to AFK. Already some here. Wow, nice. Yeah, I need about four shulkers of it, so I think that if I just were to grab all of these, it should be enough. Because I need eight shards per block. So technically that means that I would need eight times four shulkers, so thirty-two shulkers of shards, correct me if I'm wrong, to make four shulker boxes. Sounds a bit right. Okay, make sure my logic is there. That's twenty-seven spots. Would I say thirty-two or thirty-six? Uh I think I said 36. <laughs> eight, times, eight times four would be 32. Let's see. This is... Quick counting. 27, 28, 29, 30. I think I should have some more over here somewhere. Charts. Okay. Oh, wait. I need to pick up my inner chest. Completely fill up my inventory here. This area has quickly become the industrial part of the nether roof, <laughs> thanks to Boss, and then Alex and I. I haven't actually been in any of the related farms yet. Really? No. Not yet? I mean, well, yeah, I guess you just built the, uh, the portals to your farms. Yeah. Like, I'm probably going to have to build up a salt farm, because I know mm. for fact I'm going to be using that for, like, um, my kind of darker textured bits. Same. And then obviously I need to do all my worry about all my weathering textures. Which will require, require a few darker blocks. So I might actually have to build a gold farm. <laughs> or you know, I could just buy black stuff off of people. Yeah. I I definitely foresee myself eventually building a gold farm just for the convenience mm. of not having to barter. But for now, I'm more than happy to barter with people. How the smart way to do it? I think we're just gonna fill up this whole half of the storage room. See, this is why I need a bigger storage room. I don't have enough room to craft. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I think that's correct. Uh, doesn't feel correct. Should be one block further over. Yeah, I'm probably very like, mathematically accurate with this. <laughs> hey, I hear that. But no, this is the most progress I've made in weeks. Good. Very good. It's sad that I'm going to convert all of these into those four right there. <laughs> uh, clouds, right? Yes. Boss was nice enough to build a. Asked me to help him build a Wither Rose farm. So mm. we got Wither Roses for days. Start with six, actually. Black dot. This is going to be the most exhilarating content ever watching me make blocks. <laughs> All you hardcore streamers out there, beware. Time's making blocks. I wish there was a way that I could, like, filter what I want to make. That way it doesn't pop up all those other options where I might accidentally, you know, shift click on it. Mm -hmm. well, where I, I could, suppose. I mean, the auto crafter would be the answer, right? Yeah. That's true. Like, you could set for it, but that would reset every time you reopen your inventory. True, true, true. So, yeah. But the autocrafter would be the way to go. 100%. Because what I plan on doing is, with any autocrafting system that, you know, isn't directly tied to a farm, or is part of a farm, I'll probably approach it two different ways. I'll have one that kind of takes in resources slowly, and basically, rather than crafting lots of stuff quick, it crafts one one item, but mm. you know, every second okay. or whatever, right? And then I'm gonna have other ones where you basically dump multiple shulkers of items in it, and then a few seconds later, you get multiple shulkers back of the crafting material. Like the industrial grade crafter? Yeah, yeah. So, um, did you ever uh, play much modern Minecraft? Then? I don't think I can say I've ever played it. Right, well, um, and they have got these computer systems, right? That can all craft things for you. Okay. Now, in, in modded, you're routinely dealing with the multiple millions of items. Mm hmm So basically, a system like what I've just described for all crafting, mm -hmm. we, we can actually do that. I mean, it's going to be super big. Like, you will need a perimeter for that. <laughs> but... <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, well, it's just a wee idea to have. You're the guy to talk to. Yeah. I'm not my jam. Wish you could press space to refill the craft. That would be nice instead of constantly shift clicking. Oh, like Just... you can with it when your villager trading. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, true, true, true. I didn't even thought about that. Well, I'm glad I don't have to be out uh, knocking down ocean monuments to collect all these blocks. Mm -hmm. This would be absolutely terrible to try to do without these farms. Oh yeah. Here we go, one full shulker down. Let's actually clean up all these empties. And see if, see if my math checks out, there should be eight. Six, seven, yep. Oh yeah, 32 shulkers. It convert. Hey. I math. I did the thing. Hope everyone's proud of me. That's all. That's all I'm looking for is a little bit of recognition from my audience. <laughs> time, time can craft and math. He's, he's an okay builder, but as long as he can get his math right, that's what we really want to see out of him. They're holding me to a higher standard. Okay, whoa, this is looking so much better, wow. 
Crystal Kirby. <laughs> One more cover now I can replace everything else I did before. Nice. Two more cups actually. Okay. Arrow of strength, so that's six or seven of are you trying to get all of the enchanted arrow splashes? Is that what you're currently trying to do? If that's the case, we definitely should consider making like a crazy cool PvP arena. I, mean, I guess Zetacraft kind of did something similar to that when they did the Mario Kart track. It was all super cool. For those that don't know, in Season 3 of Zetacraft, they made one of the Mario Kart tracks that you can race horses and have all sorts of cool, fun, special items and abilities, all in vanilla Minecraft. There's their shout out. <laughs> oh, this is off. Uh oh. What did I? I messed up my math somewhere. Oh no. I thought it seemed suspiciously weird that I got the math right on one. It has to be a give and take, because you're normally right on the math. Okay, let's see, let's double check. Okay, you know what? Even though the math is off in that one, I can get away with it. Oh, really? Yeah. It's off by one block, but because of this, the sheer scale of the ball, you wouldn't see it. Oh, uh, okay. It all worked out in the end. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, yeah. Wouldn't worry about it. So this will be tapered off. Does that mean okay? I need to remember to take these empty shulkers back to the guardian farm. Refill that up. Oh, you're just trying to get the, the cheaper prices. That makes sense, splashes. Oh, I get it. Off because of the way I've generated the circle. Okay, right, that's fine. Oh, wrong size circle? Uh, well, basically, the circle generator I'm using because of the shape I want, it's mm -hmm. not actually a perfect circle. Ah, gotcha. So basically, one side is like almost twice as long as the other one, so that I can get the curve right. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's what was tripping me up. So the, the centers weren't matching up properly when I built it. That, well, that would do it. Yeah, but all I need to do is I just shorten the circle in the actual build and then it, it works. Oh, okay. I get that splashes. It's kind of one of those like interior checklists that it would be cool to get every single trade in the game. And you know, I mean, on a forever world, that would be a great spot to you know, realize that goal. I know uh, when Boss was setting up his villager trading hall, he was being very, very picky about how he wanted his villagers to be. Mm -hmm. The point of annoyance, he said, he goes, why did I make this so hard on myself? <laughs> my only requirement was that all of my librarians needed to have a paper or a glass trade or sorry at least a glass trade just so that way i can do that uh, cartographer and librarian exploit 
Plus, it's just a really effective way to get just an absolute mass amounts of glass. Obviously, with a circle gener that I've generated because of one side long of another one when I've been building in the in the game, mm -hmm. I've been offsetting it each time. Okay. So I've got I've got basically multiple different tiers of circles each that are a different size milled together. So it creates this kind of like step loop, which is also curved. Okay. And it's also very angular as well because obviously it kind of tapers off. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. I feel like I'd be able to understand better if I saw it, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think... <laughs> I'd love to watch your stream, but I got a few things going on right now. I mean, it's kind of dull because it's just grey. Oh, <laughs> you know? yeah. It'll look much better when it's textured. Speaking of, let's get this actually sorted. I'm definitely not uh, underselling on the whole grind part of this stream. Not quite as exhilarating as removing blocks like a mountain, but maybe next time. Maybe next stream. Which I wish I could Ping. say I had scheduled. Yes. You've set the bar high with uh, projects so far, so I don't think it, it, anyone actually <laughs> <laughs> actually means, you know. True. Well, and I also think that this is a, a really nice alternative instead of me going three to five months completely dark without any sort of episode to at least have some streams so you guys can see that I didn't fall off the face of the earth, you know? Yeah, yeah that's fair. And also, it's, it's actually been a lot more of an enjoyable process to have people comment and, you know, at, a lot of times giving me advice. I think that's been very helpful. Yeah, it's not necessarily something you get when you're just you know, crack it on with it by yourself, you mm -hmm. know? Exactly. It's like, uh, for example, when I'm, you know, planning builds and stuff, I find it really difficult to just be sitting by myself doing it. Mm -hmm. Because I end up making a critical mistake somewhere, right? And then it just, it, it knocks my progress down later on. Or your motivation. Like that too. It's like I, I said to myself, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to use this Easter break that I've got off to get mm -hmm. this video finished. And then I've just wasted the first half doing oh. nothing. Oh no. So that's why yeah, this afternoon I was like, right, I'm going to at least start work on it. In fact, I can a small goal of getting that um, alien rating sorted. Yep. And then I'll see if you can move from there. Baby steps. All right. Okay. Um, I guess we can shot on that and we'll post that in there for a little reference. Missing choker box somewhere. I grabbed 31 chokers, right? Or 32? One in here somewhere? Oh, oh I, had, I had to put one back. That's right. Make room for my ender chest. Okay, well, this will be my opportunity to make a trip out here. Deposit these back into the farm. Ooh. Is this the middle block? Should be. Yes.
back to Guardian Farm. I think I'm going to adopt the similar approach you did with them. Um, you know how on your build you've got a lot of kind of flat surfaces, but you, mm -hmm. you, you're able to kind of make them look good by um, your kind of weathering texture and stuff. Yep, yep. I'm going to have a few things like that because I'm going to have a, a lot of big, big flat walls. Mm -hmm. So what I was planning on doing is having every so often have like an outcrop and of, of like, it's only like one block, right? So one block of thick would be like a, a kind of geometric shape of some yep. sort. Okay. So it's like a, whether it's a cube or a square or a circle triangle or whatever. And I'm going to use that to like uh, amplify certain weathering effects later on. So, um, okay. With, with the, 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 the runoff from the, the rain that comes off the, the surface at the top, I need to hit it somewhere further down. Yep, so it's exactly. Gonna off, it's going to bounce off of these bits. That, that Those areas will be I've a couple of bits of moss and stuff. Yep. Um, and then that's basically going to direct the waterfall and then make it change dynamically as it goes down. Love it. It's yeah. actually uh, something that I was working with uh, Taripuk when he was designing his, is how I did it wasn't quite necessarily in line with a true realism style weather mm -hmm. gradient because I made mine very very uniform across the top and then just varied the length and kind of what I encouraged him to do was to break it up even more so for instance these bits right here I, I kind of recommended to him that he just makes more longer lines with uh, more distance between them so instead of being a uniform uh, shade there'd be a lot more variation because you know the water is going to take the path of least resistance yeah and unless i had a perfectly flat wall it wouldn't necessarily uh, stain in the same way I suppose the way i think about it is it's kind of stylized you know hmm. oh i just messed up big time i shouldn't have done that don't do that yeah, it's like a soup, like, because obviously this is, this is Minecraft, like, we need to kind of stylize stuff a bit more, because it's a block, of course. you know? Yep. And that's why, like, let's just say some, some people may have similar looking worlds, but they actually look different because of the, the degree of the, uh, the weathering and all that stuff you've done. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try this again. And that's another thing where there always has to be a little bit of artistic liberties like in order to make things look good in minecraft you have to be able to, to fudge something you know uh, yeah. yeah you're right as long as you can really sell the, the concept and the idea i think is really what the end goal should be yeah right we are set on Dark Prismarine. Check that one off. <laughs> Copy. And I still got four shulkers left of Wither Roses. Woo. It's crazy that uh, as many as I use, I only got four shulkers of Dark Prismarine. Talk <laughs> about an expensive block to use, you know? Yeah. One oh, instance, I want this. Okay, what's next on the list here? Next we have Dark Oak Chest. That's going to be an expensive one. I don't have much Dark Oak. You can always go and find a Dark Oak uh, forest. Yeah. Decimate it. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Because let's see, I need 5,664. Divide that by 64. I need 88 stacks of dark oak chess mm. well, i don't think i'm gonna get that from all of this i'm not even gonna try to math that in my head because you need eight dark oak per one chest so technically it should be 88 stacks or whatever i just said oh now i gotta remath it like i said i don't want to math it i'm actually mathing it Okay, and then take that and multiply it times eight. No, those are stacks. So I need to multiply it by 64 first. 
and then take that number and multiply it by eight, which means I need 45,312 dark oak planks. Oh, damn. That's a lot. Yeah. And it was at this moment that time realizes that he made his storage room way too big. <laughs> One of those things that if I chose to do this out of spruce, it would have been easy, easily mm -hmm. farmable. Any sort of tree that could have been used in a tree farm. This is one of the one woods that doesn't work well on a tree farm. I, I don't suppose you get away with just using spruce at this point. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I, I use spruce in this one, and while it doesn't look bad, I think that the dark oak fit the vibe a lot better than the the spruce. So that's why I ultimately decided. 88 stacks. How many shulker boxes is that? Uh, 88 was the number 88.5 0.5 divide that by 17 something no that can't be right you're right at all i just figure four four shulker boxes yeah two by two tree farm would be nice that's nuts i need four shulker boxes and a dark oak chest ouch yeah, that's uh, quite a bit. That, that hurts. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think we'll wind down the stream by going and chopping down some dark oak forest then. <laughs> if I remember right, there was one relatively close to my build mm. that I wanted to clear anyways. So here's the question, should I be replay mod recording this for the time lapse? I feel like that should be a yes. But I don't also feel like I'm going to be doing enough of it to justify it. Yeah. Oh, I like the way the cuffs are key. I figure probably 20 minutes of chopping down dark oak trees and I'll be, I'll be ready to call it a day. Mm. Should put me right at the four hour mark. I will be right back. All right. All right, Splashes, you may need to elaborate there about how dark oak wood works in a two by two tree farm, or at least send me a link to one. Because if this is going to become a much of a pain as it is, it might be easier to just build one of those. If you got a, uh, a tutorial or some sort of schematic of one, send it my way. I will definitely entertain the idea of one of those. Dark Oak Forest, where are you? Be a straight south. I believe. Water break. Somewhere over here. We just passed this forest, I believe. This will all be integrated into my world building area, so it's got to get removed anyways. Maybe it was a little bit more west. There it is. Yeah, let's just start clearing right here. On the edge of this thing. <laughs> that works, I guess. Be a, a mutual beneficial tree farm that we can both use. Alright, start chopping. Oh, the only thing really annoying about chopping dark oak wood is that they grow in such irregular shapes. Sometimes it just becomes annoying to chop them down like when they grow just like this one. Prime example. Where I gotta wait for those leaves to despawn, or I need to break them to get the drops. But I will 100% gladly take chopping down an entire dark oak forest versus trying to gather mangrove wood. That was a nightmare for the little bit that I needed for my starter bait. Like, seriously horrific. Like, Mojang, why do you hate us so bad?
So we got some chill music in the background for grinding out some trees. Pretty sure this playlist is repeated at least four times now. Yeah, mangrove is a pain. I'm glad they didn't make the cherry trees just as complicated. But I mean, in in their defense, I'm gonna I'm gonna play both sides of this coin here. At least they added enough variation in the trees to keep it interesting. Because like first trees like maybe three different designs or I don't know uh three different shaped trees unless you're in like a, a old growth one then it bumps up a little bit but there's only so much you can do with a birch tree to make it interesting the mangrove however they've seemed to add enough variation it's not like oh yeah I can clearly see those three different trees just around So there, like I said, there's that. Not to mention, it's actually a really good way to get a multitude of different blocks because you have those mangrove roots, you have the vines if you wanted to, the propagules, and then there's a few other things that they drop. So at least they, they make it beneficial that way, where if you really needed it to, you can grind out a lot of stuff. Also, welcome to the actual world, Death. Yes, yes, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I uh, have to go and refill my super smelter. Oh, what are you uh, powering your super smelter with? Uh, lava. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, to be fair, like I've been trying to fill it for the past week, but I've only been on for like, maybe twenty minutes at a time. Hmm. Oh, so you're just gonna AFK at the the lava farm? Yeah, it's just a fairly basic one in my um my base. Gotcha. Uh, before I do that, actually, I need to go and repair my Elytra. Oh no. Because uh, earlier on, um, obviously from all the flying about I did with Splash. Uh, it's understandable, all the way out to her area. Yep, and back. <laughs> yep. To get it repaired, it should be quick. Just uh, trade with a few villagers. Super handy. Yes. What I normally do is I'll just swap it out to one of my spares and then next time I go back to actually wanting to trade, I'll just try to remember to snag those up and repair them all at one time. Mm -hmm. Although to be honest, I don't think I go through more than one or two before I end up trading for something. And there we go, they're both filler repaired. Nice. Yeah, like to be fair, like, I only actually own two elytras myself. And I could be doing with um, going and getting more. It's just um, that involves being in the end. <laughs> well, now that the end's reset, it should be a lot easier to grind out some more. I suppose, yeah. Because, you know, somebody went and spent like six hours end raiding and completely devastated an entire sector of the map. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, what I'll probably do is I'll fly out to my shelter farm and then I'll start from there. Mm. So in that way, it's, 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 an, it's far enough out of the way. That's Which actually a pretty awesome. good idea, so that way people that join in the future, if they want to go get more, and I don't feel like such a bad person for gathering them from zero zero all the way out to 20,000 blocks away. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, it was 40,000. I don't remember. It was, it was a lot. They did a lot of grinding. Oh well. And honestly, I I have enough to supply me for a long time. Two shulker boxes worth of fully enchanted elytra should get me a while. I thought you only had the one shulker, I never realized you had two. I have two. They're all fully enchanted. And honestly, you know, it's they're repairable, so it's not like yeah. they're expendable. I, or, I mean, they are expendable until I get blown up by people are falling in lava or something and actually lose them. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's see. Uh, my super smell what is about... Let's just say 85% full of lava. Okay. Well, that's a good spot to be in. Yeah. But instead of doing anything fancy, you know how um, those, like, 
the two white super smells people do with the hoppers and chests. Mm -hmm. I basically just bought like how many? Hold on, two, three, four, five, twelve of those. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I, I couldn't be bothered doing the whole um, main cart running along the top of it either. Hmm. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to do some stuff with that. I was like, nah. Just a chest, it's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. Just means that whenever I'm smelting stuff, I need to split up all of myself. Uh, true, true. But normally when I'm doing using that array, it's normally full of massive amounts of stuff. So like several chunks of glass. Yeah. So it's fine. I just you know fill up as I need to. I've got other uh, furnaces like actually next to my storage. Um, where it's like I only built one or two items, then I just use that. Yeah, I, I always keep like a single furnace in my storage room just for mm -hmm. those little oddball <laughs> things that need to get smelted. Yeah. But I think um, I don't necessarily bolt uh, more of that tomorrow. I'm probably going to go and like, sell like, block pallets and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. So after this, it's going to be mainly grayscale with uh, little pops of green here and there. Yep, my favorite color gradient. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the darker parts, um, I'm probably going to use a mix of um, basalt and deep slate. Solid choice. Yeah. So I, I might be um, messaging you over the next few days while I'm, while I'm doing things for suggestions. Perfect, send them <laughs> up. I'd love to help out. I know you're the king of that sort of stuff. I wouldn't go that far. I might be in the royal family, but I'm not the king. <laughs> Maybe I'm the third generation prince or something. Mm. That sixth in line. I don't know. That's something I always do enjoy. That's one of the reasons I've talked about it before. That I enjoy being on this server and in this discord. Is It's just nice to hang out and then just kind of keep each other focused on it but when we don't actually feel like streaming it's still kind of nice to just do a low-key hangout session with one yeah. or two people just stream each other's screens and then we can just pop in from time to time mm -hmm. and offer advice welcome back clay we're uh, grinding out some dark oak trees now uh, winding down the the stream gathering up stuff for the storage room i don't know when you left but we, we got it finished designed, got a schematic of it, got the schematic placed in the world. Now it's just material grinding time. So I'm currently decimating a dark oak forest to get four shulker boxes worth of dark oak chests. See, you know what? I just thought of something that'd be kind of cool. What is your thought on this? What if we made it where you could dye wood just like you know putting stain on something mm. you could stain wood imagine that you could just take oak wood and just apply like white dye and you can make birch colored wood yeah and, you know vice versa black browns and stuff like that you'd have to find a way to refine the the ingredient list or the, the crafting recipe but that would actually be kind of cool to be able to stain wood yeah i think that's an idea like I, I have an idea for that actually how you could approach it hmm. so it's a really old mod called terra pharmacraft it's been oh, yeah. popular yep yep um and they had this whole system in there where you could like brew different things okay so you could like seal stuff away for x amount of time and then you get whiskey out of it that sort of things mm -hmm. th th that same system could be applied for um for making stains but um that stuff so let's just say um you have a container full of water or some other liquid you throw a certain amount of dye in there that determines how how um potent potent is yeah and then you seal it away and then after let's just say a few in-game days mm -hmm. it's ready to go and then you have x amount of uses on wood for that okay so that's maybe cool you actually, rather than just you know crafting it straight away mm -hmm. you actually dunk the wood into the container oh kind of like how we talked about doing the concrete where you throw it into the, the cauldron and it converts it kind yeah of yeah but um but are you saying we you need to like leave it in there for a while but what i do is i basically allow you to put it in and pull it out straight away but it, it would consume 
than some of the mm. the, the tanning liquid. So it's, it's still a consumable that way, but it's just a it's an alternate mechanic. Yeah. To, um, the dyeing system. That would be cool. It'd also be cool if you could just do that with like regular blocks. Yeah. You know, where you could just dye concrete powder and stuff. Yeah, think, it would um would make building a lot more interesting. I think it'd add a fun new mechanic to the game, honestly. Yeah, so uh, more jet and me. There you go. <laughs> pull, pull your strings, Death. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get uh, start talking to your contacts. <laughs> I, I know you got the CEO kind of on speed dial, so. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'll just pull some strings here and there. Exactly. I'm talking to the right guy here. Because, like, to be fair, though, recently they have added more different wood types to fill up the, the color selection we have. Yep. But that would be a neat alternate way of doing it. I suppose. Well, then I could. Oh, there it is. Thank you ah. for sleeping. I was about to do that with Splash Baby too. But... Once again, I, I, love, sleep. I love how many sleepers we have on the, the server. I actually don't have any <laughs> open shulker boxes. I left them all. So I, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream when my inventory fills up. I think that'd be a good goal. We'll be right about at the four hour mark that I am trying to keep my streams to. We'll get things moving right along. I'll grind out the rest of this off camera. I don't know if I'm going to build the storage room and stream. I've, at this point, I almost feel obligated to because I've worked with everybody in the design aspect of it, whether it be Discord stream or actual YouTube live stream. I feel compelled to finish this project with everybody, you know? <laughs> I guess that'd be a good justification for me to stay on some sort of stream schedule. Yeah. But just don't, don't burn yourself out with it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I also have my, my everyday life that needs to take priority, as mm -hmm. much as I'd love to stream every day. And I know my my inspiration goes in spurts, so I'm kind of one, on one of those swings right now where I'm trying to hammer out as much as I can while the inspiration's still there. Yeah. I, I would try to keep myself on my promised schedule of releasing a video every three to five months. I am really far behind right now, so this is like the fire that's been lit under me. Mm -hmm. See, that's why after this video I've got several small projects I'm mm. doing. So that way I can at least have stuff coming out. So smart. Don't feel like me and feel like you need to make something even bigger and better. <laughs> mm. See, my, my plan for the end of the year is to have lots of balls that are all inter interconnected. So basically, I'm, for this year, I'm just going to focus on the stuff around my start area. And then maybe a thousand blocks in each direction. You know? Yeah. Well, it's also I, getting all those starter farms and stuff established. Yeah. Yeah, because the way I look at it is I, I need the ball to sell farms in order for me to do things later on anyways. Mm -hmm. So get them done as early as possible. So then that way you can have them running for a lot longer. Exactly. Start filling and up you know, a, a huge mega storage room. Yeah, but to be fair, I do need to build one. Not as like a kind of general everyday use storage room, just as more of an archive, really. Hmm, for specific farms and stuff kind of thing? Yeah, so later on my plan was, um, you know, once I moved out to my 10k by 10k base that I was mm -hmm. talking about, um, I would actually move, like, I think about it was in the nether, right? So we'd take an ice path from the nether hub out to that location. And then once you get out there, you actually switch onto a piss and bowl network. Okay. Because then that way I can um, I can actually load up, like, say, 500 uh, chess minecarts full oh. of items from different farms and then yes. have them routed to certain locations. 
you, you can do it with boats, it's just it's a lot harder. <laughs> That's super clever. So I was going to build a smaller version of that down here. And maybe have it, say, like 10 million uh, items as a capacity. What's <laughs> that all? Yeah. I guess I need to do the math to see how many items this storage room will hold. Mm. So how, how do you do it? Do you do it based off of the potential for shulker box usage or just straight chess math? Uh, so these days, um, I whatever I'm designing a storage, mm -hmm. it's always based on the shulker. Because that is like um, the ultimate in ability to store items. Yeah, it's the densest form of storage. You can yeah, do. that's the right word, dense. Because um, on average, each double chest can hold about 100,000 items. After all, in chokers. Okay. So then that means you only need, say, 10, 10 double chests to get 10 million items. Oh. Hmm. So it's. It, it's Compared to um, before shulker farms were a thing, yeah. whatever someone would run like a massive like perimeter or, or quarry or whatever, yep. and they'd try to store all the aims, they'd need tens of thousands of chests, yes. depending on the size. Whereas now that's not necessarily the case. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why I bought the shulker farm as early as I did. Because that uh, AFK for however long it was ended up with like 200,000 shells and that's been it. I haven't touched it since. <laughs> right. And I'm pretty sure I've gotten a few shulkers of those shells. Put them mm -hmm. to good use. Yeah, but I think what my plan is, is I'm going to build... So after this project is done, my next one is going to be like a cobblestone farm. So I'm okay. going to be tagging about a million M's per hour from that. <laughs> nice terraforming job around it. Then after that, it's going to be... Probably some sort of wood farm. Probably go with like a two by two spruce tree one. You know Maybe what we do like a great terraforming job for that too. You know what we really need on the server? Yeah. I realized nobody has like a formal one yet, and that's a wool farm. Yeah. You see, I bought a wool farm. Like the last one I bought was in my hardcore world about eight months ago. Mm hmm. 1,000 sheep. Oh. It took so long. That's just so much breeding. <laughs> yes. I feel like that's the worst part of it. it well, yeah. I guess putting them in their stalls would be even worse. That actually wasn't so bad, you know, moving them. Mm. So I just put them in boats and then did it that way. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to stay clear of wool farms for the time being. After that. I just can't think of a build that I'd want to encapsulate a wool farm in. Like, I thought about doing it in my current one, but once again, I'm trying to keep this as farm free as possible. I'll have the, mm -hmm. the mega storage room, the super smelter, and then all of the mini blocks and heads. Like, I feel like that's gonna be a lot of strain on the server just yeah. with that. But no, once I get the, that uh, stone farm and the wood farm up and running, I'm then going to build like my my storage archive thing. And then that way, once only when that is full, I'm then going to move on to actually working towards my big base thing. Okay. So yeah, um, big plans, and I just love the fact that I can just work on it like, for an hour or two every day when I get home from work and mm -hmm. not to worry about upload schedules I didn't yes well, that's I mean, a... I... sorry oh, go sorry, ahead you... oh no no sorry I was going to say that that's kind of the, the struggle that a lot of people have with Minecraft especially content creators is that they get into this mindset that they you know, absolutely have to produce a video every week or something like that or no, their channel's gonna die. Like it's it's not like that. You, you have a, a select target a bit of your audience is gonna be a little upset with you for not producing, you know, daily content because they really enjoy watching your stuff. But it's not gonna be the kiss of death to your your channel if you spread yeah. your episodes out, especially if you're trying to make the best quality content you can. And that's where I am. I want to make better content. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I've had this conversation thousands of times mm -hmm. where um, people will say, oh, you try and release as much as possible, do what the Hermes do. Three episodes a week. That sort of stuff, right? And I'm like, I mean, that's fine, but have you seen the actual amount of work they do per video? It's not actually that much. So they can get away with it. Well, then they also have, you know, this is their full-time gig. They have the time yeah. to dedicate to making contents on the, the schedule that they are. Mm -hmm. Like me, I'm working 40, 50 hours a week. And I yeah. still have, you know, family time that I need to juggle into it. Yeah, it's not realistic. Mm -hmm. um, it's not It's not sustainable. If, if you want to grow these days on the platform, you need to stand out. And people that are already up there don't need to worry about that because they're established already. Mm -hmm. They're guaranteed to get a certain amount of views. As exactly, it is. yep. So they don't need to put in any effort. Not really. Whereas the likes of us, we want our videos to be seen. But we need to understand that we need to go above and beyond. Exactly. Which is why, you know, a cell that we have here on this server works perfect for them. And yeah, sure, like you've got less videos coming out in that time. If you're spending four or five months on a project, mm -hmm. but it, it doesn't really matter because like, from doing that, you kind of attract an audience that kind of let's just say they're better. True, <laughs> a healthier audience. Yes. I mean, to be fair, you still get the, the comments going. Well, because where, where's, where's the next video? Mm -hmm. so often. There's no getting away from it. Like I said, it's mostly just with the the mindset. Of behind it somebody just wants to watch your content because they enjoyed it yeah that's how i'll i'll take it why is that fun this on oh some stone fell in there no thank you splashes I presume that's you that's sleeping yep thank you Where are we at? Basically, we want to keep everything else I have, so just think one more dark oak tree. Woo! Six. Not enough to get an entire tree, so let's see if we can just snip off a couple branches off these. Mm. Right. One, two, perfect. Whole bunch of saplings. Any more I can pick up? I can always use dark oak sand. Alright, I think I'm gonna go ahead and fly back to my area and then we're gonna wrap up the stream. Sweet. Uh, Splash, this is saying that you'll need like 3,000 furnaces to convert that cobble to stone. Yeah, let's just see. Um, <laughs> I won't be converting all of that. But I'll, I'll probably have like an actual cobble farm and a stone farm independently of each other. Hmm. I, I need to plan it out. I haven't done any planning. Where well, you gotta start every big project. Okay, right, I think I'm gonna do hell divers for the rest of the evening. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna, gonna call it there for a night. Discord stuff. Yeah, it's right. been, been, fun, been fun hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, alright, I'll catch you guys later. I'll catch the stream later as well. Alright. See ya. Bye.
I would say overall today was a very successful stream. I only have one rocket left. I have zero rockets left. Looks like my internet's actually on its way out anyway, so I think this is a perfect time to start winding down the stream. 